That's crazy, huh? You're like 15 when I was five. Damn. I always think about that. My brother's the same thing, too. Don't say it like that. I know, but it's just like crazy. I mean, bro, my niece is, I'm 20 years older than my niece. You know, like, that's crazy. When she's 20, I'm going to be 43. I can't even, like, that's crazy to me. Oh, yeah, same thing, though, too. Like, my niece is, yeah. I don't know how old my niece is, but, like, I'm, like, 25 years yeah, old. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> It's just crazy. But, yeah, man. All right, bro, we're back in this bitch. You Episode three, man. Episode three. Still can't, I still can't believe we got this far. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, like, new to this shit, so, I don't know. It's just brand new and shit, but. um, I almost quit in the last one. Did you? Yep. That's full of fuck, bro. Stop quitting, bro. These fools are gonna start taking that shit serious. Be like, damn, this fool don't even want to be on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> I tell you, I make a joke every single episode that I'm gonna want to quit. All right, bet that, bet that. So, hey, you went to the, uh, you went to the currency and G Perico show last night. Yep, I went there with my brother. Um, let's see. Uh, so, I got the uh, doors open at at five thirty. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, I'm gonna get to like, I'm gonna get to there like six, you know. I ain't trying. To, it's hot out here right now. It's hot right now. It's it's it, the, the bro, you're, the line you're straight up in the heat. All, Where was this shit at? Uh, like uh, Garden Garden Grove. Oh, in Garden Grove. The is it inside or outside? It's the venue was like both, or not not both, but like it's out it's outside, but um, so like, no AC. Nah, nah, Sheesh. no AC at all. But the thing is, it, it was like five. It was like six. So like, I mean, it's kind of the temperature's kind of going down, you know. Yeah. But out here like, in Cali, it's like it's hitting like ninety something degrees, you know. It's hot. Yeah. But yeah, at yeah. that time, you know, at six o'clock, it's already going down to like eighty six. But you're in the, but it's eighty six. But you're in the heat for like ten minutes. Like mm. I mean, for like forty minutes in line, you know that that'll get to you. It'll be hotter than eighty six. You're just yeah. getting roasted right there, like a little peanut. Oh shit! Did so it like, take a long ass time to get in and shit. No. So this is what happened. Like, me and my brother were like, Nah, I'm not. I'm not about to wait. We're not about to wait in this line. I'm gonna wait till the show goes like gets down, right? Oh yeah. So yeah, like yeah. the line gets down. So yeah. we go to like, we go to like Taco Bell. Get me a little drink, a little a little a little burrito. What'd you get from Taco Bell? Uh, the big ass cheese it and got it plain. It's What's like, the big cheese it? You ain't seen the big ass cheese it? Nah. What's nah, that? It's like a. Nah, I was fucking around. I didn't get that, but I, I just saw there's. But there's actually a, a, on the menu. There's a cheese it. Like you can get a cheese it. I, I I don't know what it's called, but I know it's a like cheese it something, something cheese it. But it's everything in a taco, but on a cheese it. But I've seen a video. I've seen a video on on. Uh, I think on was like Twitter or something, but it was like a video of someone ordering a plain cheese it meal, whatever the thing came with. So it was yeah. literally just a fat cheese it. They just gave him a fat ass cheese and nothing on it. <laughs> but that's crazy how you can do that. Anyways, back to the, the no, Taco no, no, Bell. No, no, no. Taco Bell? No, talk, I fuck with... Dude, no, no, no. Okay, so this is the thing. I ain't trying to eat no bean and cheese burrito right before I'm going to the show. I'm about mm-hmm. out there ripping gas. Like I'm talking about like natural gas, not no weed. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... <laughs> I'm talking about natural gas by the pass and shit. You know, TMI, my bad. But I'm talking about, as I'm saying, you know, I'm not trying to eat no bean and cheese burrito. Nah. I was like, let me just get something to hold me over, you know? Like, nah, I'm not yeah, trying to yeah. eat nothing crazy. So I eat like a little, one of the dollar menu. You know, little, the value menu items, you know? I got a few of those. I got, uh, no, nah, I got, I, mean, I didn't get a few. I got three tacos from my brother and then I got me a burrito. Like that grilled, some grilled chicken burrito or something like that. It had like little chips in it. It was actually pretty good. It was pretty fire. Man, it was like, hey, it was like bro, $2, too. Taco Bell really be doing, like, all kinds of, like, crazy, like, off-the-wall shit. Like, more than everybody else out of at the fast food place. I can't tell you the last time I had Taco Bell and shit just because, like... You're a healthy guy now. Nah, 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 nah. I love fast food, bro. I just don't eat that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I love Taco Bell, but to be honest, like, I love Del Taco way more and shit. Mm. Like, I know that's a controversial statement and shit, but, like... Uh, that is crazy. Yeah, dude. Like, I fuck with Taco Bell heavy and shit. Every, nah. Right now, drop in the comments. Taco Bell or Del Taco? I Bro, guarantee you, I guarantee you, 95% are going to say Taco Bell. That's because Taco Bell is kind of like worldwide and shit. I don't think uh, Del Taco. You don't think Del makes... Taco is that? Uh, I nah. guess that's true. Yeah, I doubt they have a... Del Taco in like Indiana. You feel me? Like there's only a, a select few and shit. But like I think that Del Taco is like one of the most like West Coast like staples that is slept on more than most and shit. Just because like Del Taco is fire, bro. My, yeah, my aunt used to work there. You used to work at Del Taco? My aunt used to work there. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. aunt used to work at fucking McDonald's and shit until she got fucking fired and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But. And my brother got fired from McDonald's, too. That's another story, though. Yeah. Back, yeah so no, I was at. Oh, anyways, I was, I was at Taco Bell. <laughs> I was at Taco Bell trying to get a burrito. Yeah. Or we we're trying to eat a little something light to like hold us over for the show, right? So yeah, we're not yeah. like hungry because we're about to be there like three hours. Yeah, you don't want to poo at a fucking show, bro. That's fucking wild and shit. No, nah, yeah. Because everybody's just going in there to pee and shit. You yeah. Still, nah. I ain't dropping bro. a deuce in there. Hell no. Nah. Nah. So that shit was cool, though. Yeah. Okay. Bet. So we, I just, 
got a little soda we're in 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 the ac and t- you know talk about feels nice yeah yeah so then i'm like all right it hits like 7 30 i'm like all right we should go mm-hmm. no not, not 7 30 hits like 7 05 whatever yeah so I, we thought we were smart because i saved the cups i'm like all right mi- talk about closes at midnight yeah i'm like the show's probably over around 10 ish yeah. like, we're gonna come back get a free refill from our drinks and on the road because <laughs> it's like hour back to my brother's house so I was like, all right, let me get some free drinks on the way back, right? Like a free soda or some. Yeah. So we saved our drinks, go put it in the car, and we dip to the to the to the line. At this time, the line took like maybe fifteen minutes max to like get in because the line was short. Oh, that's not too bad. Cause, uh, but the thing is, it, it was it wasn't bad. The line wasn't bad, but bro, there's like <laughs> like hundreds of people. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. There's no spots to sit. There was there was a sign. There was like there's no assigned seating, right? It's just first come first serve general, yeah. right? So there's like seats like in the back that you can sit in and then there's the front row where you just um like the standing the standing crowd yeah like, first come first serve yeah so there's just like and we're like all right so i was like bro there's too many people standing around i'm just gonna go walk down to the front like i hate wasting my time i was not gonna waste no time standing up right there Hell at the no. entrance i'm like i'm trying to give me a little spot whatever oh yeah so i was like i'm gonna sit in the front i'm gonna I'm not sit in the front i stand in the front i hate standing though because my back my back be hurting you know what i'm saying like <laughs> I, I don't know how people do it like stand all day like no nah, shows nah, and nah, stuff i can't rough. do it no nah, it's just um, but I was like, all right, I stand in the front. I'll stand in the crowd, or whatever. So me and my brother go, and then yeah, so yeah, there's some few openers open up, and then I, you know, crazy story. I told Hunger Force this, but um, there's some food performing, and it was like one of Hunger Force's beats, and I was like, I was tripping at first. I was like, this is crazy, you know, because like, I get, you know, I don't know, it's just like so like surreal hearing it, because at I mean, to keep in mind, at this time, I've never heard my beat. Like this is why this is really why I went to the show, because I never heard like my beat performed you know as a song and stuff so like heard it loud over yeah the and i've and never shit. heard yeah, ever yeah, yeah. so i was like dude this is gonna, i was like this would be sick you know get to see like people like sing to my song and so like to my beat yeah you know what i'm saying like or for, like well yeah, i guess my song yeah i say my song you know so he did so uh Parik, uh g perico did some of your records and shit yeah he did two two of mine and then he did like five with dupree's and then Jeez. he did some of the loader greats and then steals with the, steals was his dj too it was sick how was it like uh how was it hearing your your beats like on the on like the bigs and shit was I almost it like, cried you almost cried? I felt emotional. I'm not going to lie. Because it was like. Hey, were you like that meme where you're like, uh, you know, the guy sits in the corner and they're like, they don't even know I produced this shit? Yeah, that was literally me. Damn. I didn't, I, but I'm you not, knew, though. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I, I wasn't like, I don't care about people knowing that it was me. I just liked seeing people like, I felt like, I, I told my I told my brother this. I was like, I felt like uh, like Spider-Man or something. We're in the Peter Parker. It was like, he's, he just saves the world and like, he's like chilling, like trying to like blend in, you know, with the people. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that, and it's like, damn, who did that? You know? Yeah, it was you. Fool. Yeah, but fuck? like, I'm not like telling people, yo, I made the beat. Like, I don't care like about people knowing. I just, you know, like, I want, I just want to experience my beat being played. Hey, were you biting your teeth when you were hearing the records? Like, damn, I wish I would have did that, or was it just nah. like fucking? It was like I think, I, I think to me, I was just like experiencing it. Oh, I, okay, I, I'm bet, telling you, my bet. first time ever like hearing like hearing it perform, seeing people sing the songs back to him, you know, like people like vibing with the beat, going with the rhythm that I, that I created on the track, you know, like that's tight to me. Like I never, yeah, I feel like I, I'm going to give, I'm going to give some motivation right here. Right. So motivated. I'm going to give, yeah. You know, I, some people hit me up. Some people, a lot of people hit me up saying like, yo, like podcast motivating. I appreciate the inspiration y'all give, especially the last one. Hunger Force out here is giving game on the last one. Nah, that's not bro. It's not game. bro. All right. Giving <laughs> life, life advice. Yeah. Life experience that you've experienced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I would saying? say that just because like advice and shit is just like I don't want to give nobody advice because like what what works for me not might not work for somebody else type of shit and like I don't want to be the advice. Well, options. guy. options. I'm gonna say like yeah, options yeah, 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 or yeah. something. You know? Yeah, yeah, or something like that for sure. Yeah, yeah, but he's not. Yeah, he's not no guidance counselor. He's not telling you what to do. But mm. it's just like his experience, and for you can sure. take it for what you want. You know? Exactly. Just because like I wish somebody would have told me their experience, and if they if they told me their experience, I could have avoided like small things, like you know what I mean, just like small stuff, so you wouldn't like a. Uh, make those mistakes or if those uh if things like came towards you you'd be able to uh respond to them and like accordingly or yeah you know what i mean just it's like you know when when shit sprung up on you it's hard for you to kind of like react and shit so if you kind of already have like oh like i already know how to react to this shit it just gets easier but to go back you know what i'm saying to your motivation what's the motivation bro all right so basically so i had i had never heard that's what i was saying i was getting kind of i I wasn't i wasn't gonna cry but i was like actually like i was like feeling emotional like that yeah I was there, like, damn, like, you know, like, I never, never in my life did I think, like, when I first started making beats that I would hear, like, my stuff on, like, the loudspeakers oh, and, like, sure. the crowd yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff. I was making some trash beats. <laughs> oh, that's what we're going to do. 
I just thought about that's what we're gonna do. Remember, we're gonna like bring oh, our old play beats. our old beats and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already downloaded a few. It was hard. It, hold on, not, not to get sidetracked once again, but it was hard for me to find mine because like as soon as I started really making beats and shit, it was a lot of samples, and I didn't want to find one with the sample uh, just because like you know you know we start sampling, yeah, start sampling yeah, yeah. And everything. So yeah. like. I had like some Star You're Wars there. shit in there. Yeah. I had like some fucking Spanish bands in there and like yeah, all yeah, some crazy yeah. shit. But I found one with like original with the, playing yeah, original and shit. shit yeah. And like, yeah. And it's like from, I think, like 2000 and do, 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 like 2007 or 2006. Jesus. So it's pretty nice. old and shit. But like, I started a little bit before that. But yeah. I just don't have, I don't have. Oh, like yeah, a, no, same with yeah, me. Yeah. 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 We'll talk about that later. But yeah. So. <laughs> Back to my motivational shit. I was talking about this is I'm, no for real because I'm people actually like fuck with like our like the the show you know like the podcast they like that it's actually inspiring they like to watch it it's motivational like you know so, you know it's a good outlook on like this on our perspective and shit. Yeah, because I love bro, I love content. I yeah. love like content like this and shit. And I wish there was like more of it, just because like I don't know, because like I just consume a lot of it. Like I'm just I'm a fan of all the fucking of the content that comes yeah. out. And as long as it's yeah, like same. well done and the audio and shit, like our first one, like the audio wasn't good or it was all right. But yeah, now but we got that shit unlocked. So I apologize like, for that was my fault though, because I didn't get to hold the mic and shit. Oh, uh, we didn't mind. know, bro. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. had tested out the mics and shit, but like uh, we weren't like you know what I'm saying anticipating like the distance and shit, but now that shit sounds good like yeah. now you know what i mean like that's the first thing i ask somebody like hey does this the audio sound good they're like yeah it sounds better now i'm like yeah. all right cool like yeah as long as the audio sounds cool like i don't really care and shit yeah but. and now we do a few tests so now it should be it should be a lot like yeah. smoother now but, but yeah bro back all right to the now motivation. now let's really get to it <laughs> so as i'm saying so when i first started i was like damn like these beats i always liked making beats but i, fr- I didn't really think of it when i first first started making beats i didn't really think of it as like a career or try to pursue it right i just yeah, thought about yeah, yeah, a yeah. hobby in high school yeah and i was like oh, that's cool making beats whatever yeah and, and then when i graduated high school i was like okay like maybe i kind of do want to start because i was always i started making i was making beats right right and i started like uh really started like really fucking with beats before it was just like i'll make beats whatever like i was, I was making beats for like a you know long a long time yeah like hours i'm saying a day it was yeah. so it wasn't like it was a hobby, but like I was like, sac- I wasn't like playing video games anymore. I was literally just making beats. I was like making that my thing. All money in type of shit. Yeah. Just yeah. On, the, on the on the work. And but stuff. just like trying to learn everything, right? Yeah. Just learning and the progress and the process of it, right? And like you have to love the process. So that was like what I was doing. And and like anyway, so I was like, you know, fast forward and you know, I, like when I was at the show, I was like just thinking about like, bro, like I, at the show, like bef- be- like before G got on stage, I was just thinking about like, I was thinking in my head, like, damn, he's about to perform like. He's about to perform. He has to perform at least. That's my dog, right? And I was like, yeah, I, for that's sure. what I was thinking. That at least one of my songs is gonna get played. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn, like I can't even like. I was just thinking in my head, like this is like gonna be sick. Like I've always dreamt of this, you know. Like, and I just, I just like flashbacked in my head. I don't know if it's cause I was watching Stranger Things before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was just like, <laughs> damn, like eleven or what? Yeah, and I was just like, I was just from flashback like in my bedroom like just making like on the trash laptop. you saw the whole process yeah before your very like, eyes the came, whole come just, up and shit. everything yeah, that yeah, i was yeah. that i did you know all the yeah. everything i like that happened the yeah. b- growth of where i got me now and it was like you know what's crazy bro not to stop you right yeah. there and shit it's just like that happens to a lot of people and like most of the time it's always like the bad times and shit like you just remember the bad times you don't really remember the good times or like the breakthroughs and shit type of shit you yeah you just remember the damn i remember when i was like living four deep in an apartment type of shit didn't have no money or yeah. anything like that and i just had a laptop or i was going to school or like a breakup or fucking yeah. lost a family member type of shit it's never like the positive shit i think dom kennedy says that shit and it's just like a lot of people uh you know uh they don't remember the good times they only remember the bad times because the bad times stick with you more and shit so, yeah like that's why you're saying like it's going through your head and you're just going through the mo- did any good like anything good come to your head and shit or was it all like just like bad stuff no and, like, literally it was just like a, honestly i didn't like i didn't like stop in my head i was just thinking like boom like i, I had flashes of like i was just like going through it yeah. like at the show and then i'm like it just flashed like bro when i first got my laptop my homie first you know like cracked fl yeah i have it bought now don't get me image line i bought it don't even hit me up <laughs> um i love you foods um uh but at the time you know it was it was it wasn't as purchased right yeah and then uh anyway so like yeah so you know what i'm saying like I, w- I just thought about like when i first got it installed when i was first making my trash beat when i because we're thinking because you had hit me up the day before like Jenna's like you know send me your old their first beat and i was thinking about like the first beat i ever made and yeah. like 
it just like the stages like the like literally like the stages like the steps to where i've got me now you know what i'm saying like yeah and it's just like i was thinking about all that before he came out and i was like damn this is really about to happen you know like people like you know I, and and i was like damn people are about to like sing my song back and like i'm about to see it yeah and i just felt like it was sick it was sick like like how far like i'm when i my that beat i was i showed you was like six years ago like to think that six years ago to now you know like i, I actually have like i'm gonna hear it took it, it 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 took me six years to like see this happen like perform live no no you know i'm saying it's crazy no nah, and uh yeah that's what i was thinking really it was just i was just like yo like this is crazy that i get to see it live i was just like i was like i i, I don't know how to i couldn't like i couldn't like I don't know how to feel because I was like, this is my first time. You know? and I was yeah, like, yeah, I was yeah. trying to take, I was trying to take everything in, you know, like looking yeah, at everybody sure. and just like trying to see like everyone's reaction when, when he came out to like my song and stuff like that. Did you get videos and shit of that shit or no? I have one video, yeah, oh, okay, of my good, song. Good, I have good, videos good. of like every, every every song he performed, but I have oh, one, okay, cool. um, I have one that he performed. I have, well, he performed two of my songs. What songs did he do? So he did Legitimate. The first song that he put oh, was Legitimate that. with me and Mike D. Yep. And, um, and, uh. My dog? And then that's my dog. He did oh, two. Bet, yeah, he did bet, two bet. mine. And then he did like five of Dupree's. And then, yeah, he did two with Loda Great. And then he did like, or three of Loda Great. And then I think he did like maybe one or Damn, two Damn, he didn't do that LA Summers? Nope. Sheesh. Bro, every it. time I hear I was thinking, bro, if he did LA, LA Summer, summer single for the summer would have been perfect. It's summertime. You know, like everyone everyone knows that song. That new vet, that blue vet, that 2022 vet. I feel like both those songs just go back to back, to be honest. Like I wish, like if he didn't perform those two, like that's crazy and shit, dude. Cause yeah. Like, yeah, those are like i mean we argue about this all the time and shit like me and you like mm -hmm. both you know what i'm saying you like single for the summer i think i like la nights and shit like that's my shit yeah but i feel like single for the, the reason why i say single for the summer is better is because i feel like it's actually it's more of a song la nights kind of like i don't want to say it's like a, it's kind of reminds me of like an interlude yeah but like you know he talks in it like most of the time but see this is the thing though too like that's why i like it more just because like that's like like how g perico does shit you know what i'm saying so, yeah like, definitely yeah so like you know the sample and everything going and like you know everything is like hitting right and then yeah. like he's still like just himself to me i like single for the summer just because like it's a dope ass record but I feel like it's too much of a song, too much of mm. a song type of shit. Like I liked it better when I like it better, like on your beat and shit, just because mm. it's like a little bit more G Perico. On mine, it's almost kind of like, I don't know, like it's an actual like full song type mm. of shit. You know what I mean? Like the G Perico, it, yours sounds more authentic G Perico than mine does. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I like. I feel like that's how people are though. No, like yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, yeah. you're never gonna like your beat more than someone else. I feel like that's how it is. Mm -mm. Like when I hear like when I hear like 111 East, right? And I hear yeah. the whole EP, I'm like, damn, like. I kind of don't like hearing it. It feels like weird to me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like, the same way. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like it's like uncomfortable. I don't know if it's because I've heard the beef so long, but like, yeah. I like the songs. They're cool, but like, I just don't, I don't like you know. I don't explain it. Like, you get that nah. weird feeling. I do, I do. I used to get that a lot too. Just like even like hearing other people's projects and shit. Like, damn, I don't really want to. Is this really me? Yeah. Like, people really like this shit, bro. Like, this shit's crazy because I made this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's the way I always thought about. Like, it. okay, like, do you like the song "Won't Go"? With Blast and Joey Fats? Do I like do like that song. Oh, you do yeah. like that song? I do like that song a lot, but at the same time, like, it's not that See I See what think I'm saying? He hits, the, he hits me with the butt. <laughs> He's like, nah, butt? Yeah. Nah, just, just but, like the yeah. Song. I do like the song and shit, but like but I said- But that's what I'm saying. Like, the example, like, you know, you have to say something about it when yeah, it's your yeah, beat yeah. Well, shit. we talked about it last time, too. Like, it valid that song validated a lot of stuff for yeah. me, too, but like- um uh you know what i mean like my my uh my wife plays that song a lot you yeah. know what i'm saying my wife has like a whole playlist of all like my records and yeah. shit and like sometimes she'd be like cleaning the house or just doing her shit or on the treadmill and she'll like play the records and i just hear them and i'm just kind of like i don't bite my teeth at it but i'm just like Ugh. yeah right Not i can't believe like my significant other is like really just bumping that shit and, yeah like, really it, likes it dude, but it feels like weird. to me it feels weird it's yeah, just it feels like weird I'm like nah this shit's weird yeah. bro like no 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 and then she'd be showing people and shit too yeah, like, see, Yo, no, chill, yeah. Chill. i don't know i don't like that either yeah <laughs> yeah i don't like it's not that i don't like it it's just like i don't know i'm like i'm a kind of like a uh a, a conservative kind of shy person and shit like, yeah you know that shit yeah. like uh so when people are like you made this whoa or yeah, some yeah. shit like that i'm just like nah. i'm like the same way yeah yeah no nah, that's I why i was like i was i was i'm not i'm not gonna like be like yo i made this beat yo everyone like yo yo like i'm trying I'm gonna, like yell at everyone like i made the beat and, like i didn't care like i don't nah. i don't like that you know i don't really nah, like it because nah, so nah, I, like, I don't want to take anything away from the record type of shit like whatever yeah. it is that you whatever however you connect with it is like however i'm gonna be happy about it type of shit i don't want to you know what i'm saying you know i made that right in four four you know the bpm's 92 you know yeah like, nah see i wasn't trying to do nah, that nah. but yeah so i just, that's all i just want to give you know like 
I guess don't quit, you know, like really don't quit. Cause I, at one point I, I was going to quit making beats. Cause like I was selling, I was posting beats online and trying to get yeah. sales for like a year and a half. And I have quit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And like, I never, I never, I just never did. But like, I don't know, like, that's what I'm saying. Like th- th- this shit with, 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 uh, with G was crazy. Cause like, it's really crazy. Cause I think, cause, uh, my first ever like placement was with, with, was with, um, well, I guess technically it was with with Ellie Dollar, I think, with me and you. Um, was it? Or was it LA Knights first? Nah, that other no, record. No, it was LA Knights. No, no, that record you have, well, what's his name, bro? Um, oh, C5. When, yeah, yeah, when that went, yeah, 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 that's yeah. true, that's true. That's your first joint. That's like my first one. It was like all yeah. me, too, yeah, that first that track. And it went. he did, He got it on like the Billboard in New York and shit. Yeah, that shit was cold, bro. Yeah. I, I like that. I, I like yeah, that's a cool song, yeah. 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 And, but uh, as far as like West Coast shit, yeah, like what we do, yeah, I like think that, it was yeah. like uh, it was it was LA Knights second, so I guess, but but um, but yeah, so I feel like that's what I'm saying. Like I I I was I was almost about to quit, right? When I was like, dude, I was making beats. Like I understand, I know how it feels. You're making yeah. beats, and you're posting them online, and no one's buying them, and no one's. Believe me, I've been knowing that. You know, for you, sure, you spend yeah. like t- I go I go to work, come back, I'm wor- and then I make be- and I'm on making beats for like ten hours, right? And you're just not making sales. You wake up, you're hoping you get an email from Beatstars <laughs> and PayPal, and you're not getting none of that. Yeah. I feel it one hundred percent. Yeah, I'm telling you, like it's the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing when you're not making consistent sales. For sure. You know what sure. I'm saying? I understand. I I do. I'm gonna be the first. Like I understand the struggle, right? Like I mean, you more than probably every, You know, you and you know the OGs, right? Like that have been in the game right now like when you first started how long it took maybe well i don't know actually but that's your story but for me at least it took me a minute right it took me like a year and a half of making beats and I, even longer than that really because my i, I was I, when i was first making beats was like future and gunna and wheezy and young thug and those type of yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. i'm saying like that type of stuff and i didn't really make west coast beats until like a year and a half ago mm. and that when I, when I transferred over to so i was making beats for like a year and it was all like trap shit and then when I went, when I started moving to the like the, the West Coast shit, I was seeing more attraction, more like views, and more. Uh, I got into like the right market that I that I that I didn't know I I needed to be in, you know. Gotcha. And it gotcha. felt right, like, you know, you're saying like you you have to love it, right? And I actually loved making that West Coast shit, like, and like, no, the, the sure. future and gunner shit was just more like a marketing thing where I was like, it's the bigger audience, and I'm gonna try to get in that market and make it and just blow up. That's what I thought. No, that's, no, that's no. Not how, that's not the real. right way to look at it. You know what I'm saying? You got to really enjoy it and love the love what you're doing. Well, I think what we do to now make it is easy. Like, yeah, I think what we do now is like really important and shit. Cause like it took me just like having really just like information and shit. So like it's two things, right? Like I've quit doing this shit before, and like I quit doing this before just because like I was in that old mindset, just because like I'm older than you. That like oh, I'm gonna meet this person and we're gonna hit the fucking radios, we're gonna go crazy and all this shit and like. You know, that's what everybody who produces and shit like thinks is what's going to happen type of shit. And like, I don't know, I guess I was like blinded by that shit. But then like, I don't know, I I just got to the point where I realized that like I'm never going to meet like fucking YG or somebody who was popping at the time or like ASAP Rocky or Kendrick and shit. Like it's just never going to happen type of shit. But like I always just had that in my back of my mind. Like if they can meet me and like we're going to be on the radio and stuff. So like I had quit doing that shit because it was like it was dumb to even think that way. But um, when I got back into it, it was sort of the same thing like you're saying, like, you know, because like all the tutorials, like how to be successful and making it on YouTube was like gonna beats, fucking Drake beats and all that stuff, too. And like I try to make those beats, but it just really wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie. Like it just I don't know if it's like my passion wasn't is wasn't into it or just because like the people who are already doing it were just so much more talented to begin with type of shit. So, I mean, I'm you know, what I mean, just like most producers and shit, like I've made a few of those beats and stuff, but it had it was it was never it never resonated with me than like the original stuff that I had made and like luckily you know what I mean like I ended up having like a lot more time you know what I mean because like that's a whole another story type of shit but I ended up having like an abundance of time and I was like oh, I'm just gonna approach it the way I want to approach it and just see what sticks and then it ended up happening and then like you know what I mean like yeah. oh people started liking it and shit but yeah. yeah don't don't fucking quit because yeah. i already quit once and shit and all i did was just you lose progress make yeah just wasted a bunch of my time and i should have yeah. just been grinding and you know what i mean just focused on the the end goal but i wasn't and stuff and i yeah. was just uh you know just like a young producer and stuff just like man drake gets this record we're gonna go to the top or yeah. you know what i mean like if kendrick gets this record you know what i mean like it's gonna go crazy and stuff yeah. but yeah i was focused on the wrong stuff early on and it took a lot of information and 
you know, self-help and all that shit to just focus on what you're doing and what you really like and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. same shit though. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like pretty much don't quit because you never know what progress you would have made. You know what I'm saying? Like that time yeah, you, for that, sure. Let's say you quit and you spent three months not making beats. You lost out on three months of you could have been making been getting better at making beats or what, whatever it was or whether, meeting people where, that's what i'm saying yeah. also, the exact same thing i was gonna say you can three months of missing out on networking and stuff like that yeah for but sure. uh before the we gotta end the clip for the camera but uh there's like two minutes three minutes left no worries. um i was gonna say i was gonna go back to like the motivational shit because i'm really trying to like make sure people know like don't quit and don't give up and like it's gonna take you a long ass time think about it i made beats six years i started making beats like six years ago and I barely got to see my first song ever get performed, like, you know, six years later. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So it takes a long time. Don't quit. Um, don't don't think you're the best because there's people better than you. There's more, way more things you can learn. Every Like this who said, like, I like, I, I'm the same way as him. I like to take information in all the time. Yeah. Because there's never, there's never, there's never like a cap, right? There's never, there's always more. Always. Like always. literally said, there's you always want more. Like always. always. Want more. So like, and then never satisfied. Like it's just like you always want to keep growing. So yeah, that was back to like the like the 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 show, right? Like I really just like that's what I was going to like the flashes of all my stages of like making beats. Like you know, yeah, it's just crazy. Like I don't know, it's just crazy that I never quit. And like, and um, I talked about it on the last podcast, but like yeah, like one of the songs that we have out there, me and Mike, like that that's that's like our like our second or third ever collab we ever did. And Mike's the reason why I got on the first LA nights, and like I'll always be, like be grateful for Mike that like that happened, you know, because like, he's yeah. the reason why that connection with me and G ended up happening. For sure, because uh, I hit him up and was like, "Yo, let's get work," right? Yeah. So like that's like the whole thing, like and like I don't know, it's just crazy. Like full circle, two years later, we used that beat to be on like on the, on another EP together, and like that's that's dope, that's like dope as fuck. So that's what I'm saying. You need to meet, network people, and get you know like don't quit working, don't quit networking. And like that's that's like a big huge help I can give you is like don't ever don't ever quit pretty much you could take breaks I'm saying like you know you don't have to make beats every day I'm saying but like definitely like don't quit for like long periods of time because you're gonna miss out on a lot of you can you're gonna you're gonna miss out on a lot of knowledge or anything you would you know you can miss out on a lot of stuff for much. sure for sure even if it's a uh, same thing too like if we're talking about never quit scenarios and shit like that like uh uh never quit but if you are gonna quit don't even dabble with this shit you know what i'm saying because like all you're gonna do is end up coming right back to it and you're just gonna be wasting time and shit um, yeah either you're all in or you're not yeah exactly like uh you know in the past like three years or four years however long it's been you know what i'm saying i've dropped like at least one video or one beat a week no matter what like i've hold my i've held myself accountable every single week because like even one beat a week or one video a week on YouTube and shit, like, I don't even think that's a lot, but, like, you really just have to have accountability for yourself, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, like, what I see is, like, you know, people will juggle being a producer, questioning quitting, and then, like, have a normal job and not question that type of shit. And, like, I get it, you know what I mean? Like, that's, like, your job and stuff, but... If I could advise anything, it's not give your job 100%, give your producing stuff 100%, and, um, you know what I'm saying, compromise the job, don't compromise uh, the producing and stuff like that, because, like, you know what I mean, like, if you're going to quit, then quit, but if you're just going to, you know what I'm saying, taking a long, extended break and think somebody's going to find you, it's just not really going to happen, in my yeah. opinion, you know what I mean, like, it's never... It's never happened for me or anybody that I know that came back and went crazy and stuff, you just end up wasting a lot of time and stuff like that honestly you end up wasting a lot of time yeah oh. and for, hey for those who don't know and shit on saturday because we film on sunday and stuff we usually answer uh ask questions on our stories where you can drop a question whether you want it answered on the pod this week or the next week we're making it like um a uh, effort to a uh, ask everybody on saturday if you have a question that we can answer or maybe give some insight or have some topics and stuff we can help you out with those things yeah but yeah so we, we usually post it on saturdays and stuff yep. so we try to get, you know, but a lot of people have questions they want answered and stuff. So we like to help out everyone. Uh, I got a, here. I got a question here. Uh, who are some producers you like to work with? Who are some producers? I like I'm gonna to go work. first. All right, bet. Because uh, <laughs> I'm working with one right now. My guy, Hunger Force. Oh, appreciate you, bro. You know, what I'm saying Hunger Force. This is. I'm, I, I'm gonna say like when I first started, really, when I first making like the West Coast shit, I definitely wanted to work with Hunger Force, Mike. I mean, all the foods I hit, I hit you up. Yeah. Hunger Force, Mike D. You know, all the people that were at the top, right? You know, because um my because other people i know right and i've yeah. seen on youtube and stuff that were like popping and like not even just popping just the only ones that were like popping up on my youtube page <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah hunger yeah, force yeah. fucking yeah hunger force my d and idea and 
and um and who um i pretty much worked with all of them I, who I, I haven't worked with like um personally or like you know but yeah yeah, uh, yeah we yeah. don't have like any personal labs right we like just, in person yeah in, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that but yeah so yeah like you three and um that's like that's when i first started but now i say like definitely cardo yeah um See, I would say DJ Quick, but I feel like that's not really like realistic right now. Like, that's not like don't quit, bro. He still you, makes bro, he still makes talking? beats, yeah. but like I'm talking about, like, is he still like you know? I don't know if he's like you know in touch. That shit? would be like yeah. that would be like obviously like a dream, but like yeah, I don't know if anybody's gonna understand that. Like what I mean by that, like if it's still like not impossible, but no, it's definitely possible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, I do know. I, I don't do, know how to yeah. explain it, but yeah, yeah, because I remember you know what I'm saying. I don't know if this is my story to tell and shit, mm-hmm. but I asked Polly about this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Polly yesterday saying shout out my homie Polly and shit, but uh, he was in the studio with DJ Quick and shit like that too. And um, I think when I first met Polly, uh, he asked me like, "Yo, how do yo?" You know, it's a common question I get. It's like, "Yo, how do you get that kick to sound like mm. that type of shit?" Like I always get that question type of shit. I don't know why, but it was like I told him the same thing. I was like, "Bro, just turn it up." He's like funny you should say that that's what dj quick told me too and yep. like, i think they were like on an api or ssl and stuff and like you know like these dudes they just you know the, especially like the api and ssl they just feed that kick into that uh that stereo bus and yep. just make it clip and shit and just well not clip but it clips but yeah he yeah. told him the exact same thing you know I mean? yeah funny story but yeah yeah so i would say cardo so it is possible yeah it is okay so cardo quick damn battle cat would be sick oh this is who you would want to work with Right? This is producers you love to work with. Uh, I thought it was, oh. Not like your favorite producer of all time. I thought it would be producers you'd love to work with. Yeah, that's what it says. Who, oh, who are some producers you love to work with? Oh, I Wait, what did you take the question as first? Uh, producers you love to work with. No, it's producers you'd like to work with, like in oh, the future, gotcha, or you know gotcha. what I'm saying, like stuff people Understood. you haven't worked with, or whatever. Not you. It's not. Uh, it's not you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I can't say like, I can't say you because it's like. I've already worked with you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. in like in the in like someone that you haven't worked with that you want to oh, work with. Gotcha, That's gotcha, what it gotcha. wants to be. So like okay, okay. I'd say like quick, Cardo. Yep. Uh Sledgerin, because that's just like that's legendary right there. Sledgerin. Yeah. Uh let's see. Um yeah, like Battle Cat. Yep. Uh and Battle Cat's still in tune, we saw him perform, right? Mm-hmm. So like he's still in tune, right? And uh See, I'm not gonna say like I'm not gonna say like Daz because like I don't know if he's in tune and shit still. Like, I don't know. <laughs> he is. He is. Yeah, man. but like you know, what I'm saying like I don't know. Uh, why can't I'm blanking now? DJ Fresh would be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my guy Tavares Jordan. So I haven't linked up with him. So we like in person. Or yeah, we haven't. Collab? No, we haven't collabed in person yet. Oh, I mean, we. Per- I guess we have collabed online. Ah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I don't know. Am I taking this question like online or like you know what I'm saying in person? I'm not even sure, bro. Like I, I thought the question was like, uh, who do you like to work with? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I'm gonna say who do you like to work with? Like, you oh, know, you okay. in with, the so future, like, yeah, in the shit. future, and shit. Mm. Yeah. So see, that's a tougher question. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stop at that, and then you can, you can go ahead. Who would I like to work with? Or yeah. Who would I like to work with? No, who'd you like to work? Like, who haven't you worked with? <sighs> who haven't I worked with? That you want to work with? That's Man. all. The, that's the question that was asked. If someone mm. wants to ask, if someone wants to ask on the next podcast. Uh, who, who do you I like, like working, working with? Yeah, shit. Yeah, well, I like working with all my homies. Um, let me just answer both real quick. Okay, go ahead. I like working with all my homies and stuff like that. I like working with the uh, the new guys and shit too. Like a lot, a lot of the new guys hit me up and stuff, and yeah. uh, uh, ask if they can send stuff. And I let I, most of the time, like I'm like, yeah, yeah, send it to me as long as they know how to um, send stuff and stuff. You know, because like sometimes people be sending me like a crazy zip you know what i mean and like google can't scan for viruses i'm just like i'm not even gonna open it i don't know what's going on and stuff but sometimes like uh you know they send like the mp3 so i can listen to them be like oh yeah yeah go ahead and send or a dropbox stamp. link yeah whatever. dropbox link i love dropbox i use dropbox religiously if you don't have a dropbox i don't know what's wrong with you but um yeah i love working with the, i love working with all the homies i love working with all the new guys um if i could work with some people that i want to work with man Mm, I don't know. Who would I want to work with? I mean, obviously, like, you know, I mean, I mean, the notorious few. I want to work with Dr. Dre. I want to work with Oh, DJ yeah, I see that. Like, I didn't say Dre. You yeah. know I mean? So I was like, I don't know if that's like a... I guess the problem I see with those, like, those dudes, because they're so good and shit, like, I don't know what I would add, because, like, I feel like they're really well-rounded, you know what I mean? Like, maybe I could spark some sort of, I don't know, 
Your uh, kick, fam. yeah, the hmm. kick and shit like that. But like, I, you know, what I mean, I just mimic my kick off of their kick because maybe, they, maybe they want, maybe they want your tag on there. Oh, maybe so, shit. You know what I'm saying? It's in my sample pack. Cop that shit. But uh I'm just talking shit. Uh, if I had to work with some people though, but yeah, it would definitely be uh, yeah, like DJ Dre. Quick, Doctor yeah. Dre, Alchemist, Madlib, oh, uh, Alchemist Three Six cool, Mafia. Yeah. Oh, Harry Fraud. Harry Fraud. Harry Fraud's cool as fuck too. Man, dude, Harry Fry doesn't get all of his fucking his flowers from all the Coke Boy shit. I'm a huge fan from the uh, early uh, Chinks Drugs and French Montana shit. Mm. That shit was always hard. Um, I'm not, uh, just a sidetrack, but he has my favorite tag. The music of the Harry Fry? La musica de Harry Fry. That's like my favorite. Now that's favorite, a question. That's Who's my got favorite the tag? best tag? Damn. Damn, I think it's. Question. I think for me, it's Harry Fry. Hey, drop the. Hey, drop in the comments. I want to know who has the best tag. My mine is Harry Fraud. That's my answer. Is it? Yep. Damn. Like I've been I've been saying this for like three You're years. You're tripping, bro. I don't think you've really thought about this long enough. Nah, it's Harry Fraud. Is it? Yep. All right. I'm gonna. Well, I don't have you, one for you. You you say one. You say best I, tag. Yeah, like something that comes to your head right now. <sighs> I'm telling you right now, la musica de Harry Fraud. Like nah. I don't know what it is about it. Like the girls saying it. The, I don't to know. To be it honest, is. it's like the homies. To be honest, I feel like when I hear fucking other than Mike D. Yeah, Mike D. Mike D's is or crazy. Idea coming for the eight oh eight. Oh, I hear I'm, that shit cut through. Like ideas might be like top top three. Yeah, I hear. I'm that not gonna shit. lie, that yeah. one's fire. That shit gets me hyped. I'm not gonna cap you, bro. But um, and I thought it was idea coming for the eight oh eight, but it's coming from. Oh wait, he no, it is coming for the eight oh eight. Coming right? for the eight oh eight. I think I clarified yeah. it with him. Yeah, it's coming for the eight oh eight. Yeah, um, just because that motherfucker got that big ass chain. Yeah, <laughs> that shit clean. That shit's fire. Um, but yeah, it's like a lot of the homies tags, bro. To be honest, but that's that's probably like another debate. You got to let me really think about that. Yeah. Like, well, some... if you think about all the homies and shit, and then you yeah. think about like mainstream, like Weezy out of here. Yeah. Murder on the beat, so it's not nice. Yeah. Uh, Cardo's, you know, Cardo got. Well, he has like he has a few, right? He's like yeah. two or three. Yeah. Good job. Or so, uh, uh, Julian having another lighter. Hey, Julian, hand me another lighter. Uh, good job, Dan. Good job, Dan. You're good. Yeah, Dan's, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of good ass tags. DJ probably. Fresh, DJ, you know, DJ Fresh's tag. Uh, oh, DJ Fresh's shit is so legendary. Yeah, tag. like goddamn, man. DJ Fresh, DJ Fresh, DJ. Fresh. There is a lot. I'm not. There is a lot. Yeah. But off, off top, I just kept. I always. I always said. I always said. La musica de Harry Fraud. Okay. It's hey, like well, drop in the comments your it's favorite. That, it's that, it's, if it's shit. in Spanish and like yeah. it's, you know, it's fire. I don't know. But yeah, uh, back to producers when I, that I want to work with. Uh, yeah, it's all those fools. Those fools are fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. I would want to do some shit with them for sure. All right. Uh, let's let let's let me answer another like quick question here. Uh, what when making a beat? What's your favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. Oh man, I love when I finish the beat. <laughs> And like I, I mute the drums and I get to hear all the sections. Like that, I, lo- I did the same thing. Oh, yeah, I, I the love same that thing. shit. Yeah, yeah. And I, 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 when I track out my songs, I, I mute all the drums and I try to track it out without the drums. Yeah, I love that shit so much, man. Just because like you were like, you know, because like some things like follow stuff and some things counter at certain parts, and you know, and it's like uh, the hi hats are kind of like overlapping and like the perks and stuff. When you mute all that stuff and just like sometimes I do it too, and I just put like the RC twenty on the stereo and just fucking. Like hear it play like a vinyl record. Yeah, and stuff. yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn, this shit's tough. Yeah, bro. yeah. That's probably my favorite part though, is just uh, muting the drums and then hearing like, if there's no sample, like everything that you've created, like on top of that, is probably my favorite thing. You know, it's one thing. This has to do with like, I don't know if it has to do with the same thing. Maybe making it be, but it's kind of like the structuring. It's mm-hmm. like when I, because uh, when I when I do my my structure, I, p- I make it all in one pattern. Mm-hmm. Right, and I have it like I don't four bars, eight bars. Yep, four, yeah. a little like a four bar, four bar pattern, and I make all my melodies and stuff like that, and my lead and all that. But I notice with you, like sometimes we'll make, we'll do that, and then we'll track it out, and then you're like, oh, I'm gonna add something else. Yeah, I never do that. I don't know why I don't like go back and like think about another sound. I feel like I have to finish it all in that one pattern, and then I then I track it out. Ah, oh, it's weird. No, but no, like no, when no. I came here, I'm like, oh yeah, I noticed you do that. You know, you're like, oh, let's put like a bell on this part, and then we're like we yeah, do that yeah, or like yeah. pluck or something, and then like. I never really like do that. I usually just make all my sounds in that pattern, and then like, cause I think of like all the rhythms are in that pattern, and I yeah. just track it out. And I, I don't put them all. Obviously, that's why I'm saying we're talking about the instrumentation, right? You get to, yeah. you like mute all the drums, and you get to see like how it builds throughout with just all the melodies. Yeah. And like that's 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 one thing I don't really do, like tracking out and then putting like sounds after you're done tracking it out. Oh, like, that's yeah, how yeah, I noticed yeah. that we did that. You know what I'm saying? When we used to live, when we live and shit. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, yeah I, I like to hear it out loud and stuff just to hear like uh, how it's sounding and stuff and just like in my car and then like 
most likely it's either the first eight bars or the last eight bars in the verse that I want to add something on top yeah. of it to kind of carry and stuff. Yeah. Just because like, I don't know, I like records that kind of just do that. I've just always been a fan of it. Like even like the Dr. Dre stuff. And just like leads into the hook. Like, yeah, DJ Quick little, step, little yeah. sounds that enter. One of those things where you're like, damn, that part's sick, but it would never work on the hook. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, exactly. Like, that's, that's what that's I feel clean. like, too. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I think it throws me off because I do everything with the hook and stuff playing. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's Well, another thing I do is I, I just mute certain sounds I don't want to hear. Like, I turn off the Oh, lead. you take away, subtract yeah. stuff. Yeah, 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 I do the same thing, too. Yeah. I just mute it, and then I add more stuff onto the same pattern, and then I track it out later. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I do. So I guess it's like the same thing, but in a different yeah, same way. same thing, bro. So, different, your favorite, so to, to answer your question is, what's your favorite... What's the make, when making a beat? What's your favorite part muting for you? The drums, it's yeah. muting the drums and hearing everything. When it's right? done, when okay. the whole song, when all the records is done, and uh, mm-hmm. when I'm done adding everything I want to do to it, I love just muting the drums and just listening to the music and shit. Yeah, because like you know, I'm not a uh, I'm not a music theory expert. I'm not classically trained and stuff. Yeah. So like when I go back and listen to it, I'm just like, damn, you're really? street trained. Yeah, yeah, you did that shit. Like yeah. it sounds like fucking authentic. It sounds like original and stuff. You know, what I mean, it just a reminder of like. Um, that I'm kind of like uh, competitive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's just cool. But yeah. That's probably my favorite part for sure. Yeah, for me, yeah. I say I'm answering this in two parts. Yeah. When I first started making beats, it was the drums. Cause oh, I didn't Because okay. I wasn't a music theory genius, Lord, either. Mm-hmm. And I just started like, you know, I was just making beats and like, whatever, right? So I just made drums and stuff at the beginning too. So like, that was my favorite part at the beginning was drums. Yeah. Um, To get particular, it was like the kick. I just like the kick. Like the very, very, like when I first started making beats, I love the kick. The kick, yeah. And then, um, so I say now, recently, like the past like six months, I say like bass. Okay. Uh, if you want to take about like, I, I I feel like that's what he's talking about kind of, but oh, I'd say like okay, the bass, gotcha, like gotcha. the bass, you know. Oh, okay. Well, like if like I can answer it like that too, like yeah. I love the bass, but at the same time, like uh, I hate and I fear the bass all the time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Just because like. I don't know when you when you're held to like a certain standard. If you're wrong, man, you're fucking wrong, bro. You know what I'm saying? But if you're right, damn, you're right, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like people are like, damn, that bass is crazy. You know what I mean? But like, uh, when you're wrong, you're completely wrong. Mm-hmm. And like, I don't like to be wrong. I guess you know what I'm saying, especially for like bass stuff. Just because like when you put stuff out there, like the whole world can like kind of uh, hear it and like give their opinion on it. You know what I mean? But that's the part that kind of fucks me up uh with the bass and stuff because like i love doing it but at the same time it just like it gets not scary and shit but it's just like you don't want to be wrong you know what i mean like damn why'd yeah. you go to g bro that shit shit went to a you know? yeah like, you're, like the notes yeah yeah and then it's out and you're just like second guessing shit but yeah just go with your uh intuition and yeah shit, but yeah all right so that answers that question i'm gonna answer this that's I'm gonna I'm gonna answer I'm gonna I'm gonna ask one more and then you you can ask someone from yours. All right, but but so this one I can answer. We can both answer this, um, but I'll, I, I I this one like resonates with me like because of a certain point in my life, working in nine to five and pursuing music uh, slash your dreams. How to balance the two? Uh, so I don't know if you want to go first. Or yeah, I'll go first. Yeah. I think I answered a little bit of, uh, of this in the beginning and stuff, but. I mean, if you have a job and you're, like, doing the producer and stuff, uh, I mean, you got to understand, like, there's going to be long nights and uh, sacrifices and uh, you're not going to be able to do all the things you want to do because, like, you should be going hard at all of them and stuff. And, like, I I still do both of them. I still have a job. I still have a fucking – and I still produce at the exact same time. I don't have to have a job, but, like, my job is cool and, like, I have great, like, benefits and stuff like that. Like, I'm a little older, so I kind of have to just take care of myself. Like, I go to the dentist and it's only, like, $8, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, com- in comparison to, like, you know, 1200 you know what I mean, to get something done and stuff. So, like, benefits are, like, a, a real big part of that. But you have to – the way I would balance it is uh, you can't give that job your 100%. You have to give, like, your producing career and, like, your future 100% and maybe just do 80% at the job and just, you know, uh, try to stay out the way. I remember when I first started my job and stuff, like, I'd be come home and get uh, be tired and not want to do stuff, and, like, that was the wrong answer. You shouldn't be giving these people 100% uh, of your efforts and stuff. You should make it seem that way. And then come home and then, um, you know, open up that laptop and give that 100% is, like, the best way to balance it. And then as far as relationships and, like, family and, like, stuff like that, like, (sighs) bro, it gets tough, you know what I'm saying? Even my mom, like, uh, my mom, uh, you know what I mean? Like, she gets what I, like, what I do and stuff, but, like, at the exact same time, it'd be kind of, like, 
well, what do you mean you got to make beats? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, 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 no. You can, you, can, you can go do this. And it's just like, no, nah, I can't do that. You know what I mean? You just got to be uh, a good communicator and you just got to put it in the first, you know, whatever it is that, uh, that your goal is. If it's being the best producer, if it's being a rapper and stuff, like give the job 80%, but you cannot give anything 100%, you know what I'm saying? Um, except for your goal. You want it to work. Your, yeah, if you want it to work, you can't give anything else. Like, here's a good example. I used to know this dude uh, who I worked with who was like a rapper and stuff, and uh, he was really good, but he would give so much other stuff, like uh, 100% of his efforts and stuff. Like, he was big into, like, diet and stuff like that, mm. and uh, I don't know if he was competing in bodybuilding or something like that, but he would give that a lot more effort than his uh, rap career and stuff. And if he would have just gave his rap career the hundred percent and gave other stuff, you know, or I'm I'm talking about like a a two hundred percent life and shit, but it's really just a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Just because yeah. like you know, I mean, you can't do everything perfect, but he wasn't giving his full effort towards his career type of stuff, and like that kind of like ended up messing him up or either helped him. I'm not sure, but uh, you just have to give yourself whatever your goal is a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Or just the most percentage of your efforts is the yeah. best way i could describe it yeah so uh, i can kind of i can kind of give this damn i have like two perspe- perspectives on this right yeah. so when I, I fir- you've talked about this before with me and shit yeah so yeah. like it, it, don't get me wrong everyone's life is different right i don't for sure. for, i'm gonna give you my perspective i don't have kids i don't got kids there's people out there that have kids and try to still make this happen right yeah so like it so and have made it happen. Yeah. 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 And I, I can't give you any my experience from that, obviously, because I don't have kids. I'm not even going to try to answer how to do that. If, yeah. You know, that's, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea, right? It's for a so, different time. Yeah. It's for someone else to answer, right? For me, I don't have kids. So it's easier for me to answer without kids, right? So I'm going to give you my perspective on that. So I'll give you, I'll give you two different ones. I'm going to say two different ones because there was one, one time when I was working like, uh, this is where I was working like at Chipotle, right? I used to work at Chipotle. And, like, that job's, like, from, like, 6 to, like, one thirty two or something like that, right? Yeah. Um, um, and, like, so that's, like, a, it's, like, a Chipotle. You know, you're working at Chipotle. It's, like, a restaurant, fast food kind of joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, you're just, and then, so it's kind of, like, he said, don't give, like, that job 100% and, like, you're going to tire yourself out from that and then you're not going to go home, right? So you want to, like, but it's hard for me to do that, too, because I'm Mexican. So I just, you know, you always want to work. So I'm just, like, I'm out there hustling still. <laughs> Cause I try to make it easier on myself. I don't want to like have to. Cause you got to think about it. If I don't give it a hundred percent, this this is why I'm a, this is what I'm gonna say, right? Cause yeah, I used to come home like when you when we I I usually work from six to one thirty, but you yeah. have to set up the next guy, right? Yeah. So if I didn't set up the next guy, I had to stay later and help him out. For sure. So this is what I'm saying. That's why I, at work I would I would work a hundred percent because I'm not trying to wait there. And I'm not I'm not trying to waste another hour of my time that I'm can be missing out on beats. You know? Do you understand sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I would always like work i i was working at 200 percent life i guess yeah i was yeah, yeah. i was like trying to make sure that my job i was i was i can leave when i could leave you know what i'm saying got gotcha, you got gotcha, when i was gotcha. supposed to leave instead of staying later and stuff but i mean i would stay later this is later i mean i was broke so i had to i would stay later to get more money but i'm saying at the time you know um anyways just pretty much i, I gave it 100 percent so that way i can get out on time and, and go home and and be able to have that extra hour of making beats you know what i'm saying yeah so that's what i would say is like make sure you're still getting out on time i guess or whatever it depends it really depends because i'm saying this as a fast food job not a serious government job or like we're working for someone like you're this is like a fast food joint you know like there's teenagers working there i was like 18 19 when i was working yeah, there yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it's different right it's different times there's different people that work like construction jobs that work in different jobs like whether it's like you're in an office job it's like real serious you're like a real estate agent or something like yeah. i don't know like higher tier jobs right yeah so i can give you two sides because i did have a higher tier job so uh yeah so at chipotle basically a restaurant fast food whatever you want to say uh that job was like you know it's a lot simpler of a job less easier it's less taxing on the mind right on for the, sure on the head yeah, you're yeah. just i mean what do you want chicken rice bowl you know what i'm saying <laughs> a lot easier than real like a harder job so it's not like it's stressful for sure so that for that it was easier right because you just get you know you kind of get home and you boom you go straight to beats that's what it felt like for me yeah right so i would say like yeah so six to one was like my schedule for work and then like um i would ha- i actually had school so i had school from six to one and then from like three to like ten you know what i'm saying like three to nine like 
um and then like and then i went next semester like flipped where i was like i literally had i had to work nights and then school mornings you know mm -hmm. anyway so like i had you had to it's it was hard bro like there was days i wasn't making a beat there was days where you know what i'm saying but i just never quit i would always somehow get beats in regardless you make time for it right like whether it's sacrificing yeah like not seeing your girlfriend for like an hour to make a beat to make it two beats so like you know what i'm saying like you do yeah. that and then like you you stay you st like uh, when I used to work when I used to stay at school like have school at, cl at class and I, let's say end at nine I would stay at school until like eleven you know like making a beat like making two beats that day for sure or like you know it's literally just like separating time you have to like you, like this was said like don't just half you can't like half ass it you can't give it a hundred like well you didn't say that but I'm saying like you can't <laughs> I'm in my in, I'm saying it like don't don't half ass it like if you really want to make it happen you will find thirty minutes an hour two hours to set aside for your you know as if you don't have kids, right? I'm just I'm gonna repeat that again. I know people that have kids; it's hard to set aside that time. Yeah. Um. But yeah. for me, like you know, if you're like whether you're single or in a relationship, you have to set aside that hour and or two or whatever, how many hours you think you need, right? A day. Yeah. I'm gonna recommend at least an hour uh, sure. to try to set aside a day if you want to make it happen, right? And I uh, um that's all it was for me, and and like now when it comes to like another like when i moved on to like an, another job like a higher tier job right when i was working i was working an audiovisual service job where you're setting up lights cameras for all these like big companies right like facebook yeah. and google and all these like johnson johnson you're setting up like the venues for them right yep like that's more of a stressful job right because you make sure that everything's set up right you're like stressed out because high intense high high stress levels because you want them you know obviously you want them to come back you want everything to make look nice and for sure like your boss is telling you the pressure of like yo we got we need this done in like an hour yeah you know what i'm saying like projector breaks down go run upstairs and go bring it back down like a f fat projector you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah it's yeah. stressful job you know because you don't want to mess sure. up because there's there's hundreds of thousand dollars in these events being thrown so it was like stressful right you're, i'm a technician you have to like set up all this stuff and that, that job was like, I'm talking about, I was at work like 12 hours and then like an hour of travel there, hour of travel back. So it, it was like a long, I had long, a long days, uh, long nights. Right. And like, <laughs> that's a hard, that's hard because I was there from like, I had to be there at nine, but in order to get there, I had to leave at eight or like ah, eight, like seven okay, 30 okay, okay. type thing. Because I, I lived in, I lived in, uh, in like em in like oakland and i had to go to frisco so like you had to cross the bridge on the bar people know if you're from the bay you know it's like you know you gotta be from the bay yeah you know this feels, yeah exactly you so I'm and like good you know <laughs> yeah i don't want no drama no i guess i just said uh like uh to go back to it and stuff like that i guess just giving it all your uh your efforts and stuff like that just because like uh you know we're talking about being brown and shit you know what i mean um a lot of that stuff is just like hustler mentality type yeah. of shit and if you don't just have that hustling mentality or you have other distractions and stuff like it'd be a lot harder so i don't i just said that just to make it like a kind of blanketed statement yeah, yeah no, like I, to make I it easier it. Yeah, on yourself it. type yeah, of yeah. shit but yeah same thing though too like i i love working bro working i you know what i mean like uh, when i'm not moving and when i'm not working is like what i don't like and shit mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and like really what i have to do is like force myself to like slow down and stop working and shit. Yeah. be like i'm con bro i love working that's like my favorite thing to do but i know for a lot of people it's not um it's not something that they like to do. And yeah. Shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah. So I had that job, right? So you're, that, that's a huge thing. That was like, I'm spending like 13, anywhere from 12 to 14 hours a day on just like getting taken up because of work. For whether sure. it's the hour traveling there and back that adds on that extra two hours, right? Yeah. So like whether I was working 10 hour shift or eight hour shift, minimum, my minimum, I'm spending at least 10 hours at work. And then I have like 10 hours of my day is taking up, maybe 11, you know? Yeah. 10 to Anywhere from 10 to 12 to 13 hours, it, it takes up my day, right? You need at least six hours of sleep or something like that, right? Yeah. So let's say I was getting six, six, seven hours of sleep. That's 20 hours. You have four hours. And then you ha it, and that's four hours, right? Yeah. I don't got kids. Let me repeat that again. I don't got kids. So yeah. I know and people. neither do I. I don't have yeah. kids either. So I had four hours of some type of whether that's. And whether that's four hours of, you know, you got to eat, you got to make food, you got to do that. You got to like, if you have like a, a, a partner, you know what I'm saying? Homework. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or homework because I was in school, yeah, right? Well, at that kid. time, at, at, at that job, I didn't have school when I graduated. Oh, okay. But I, that's why I got that job. But so that's why like, at that time, like, yeah, you just got like, you know, you have four hours to try to do something, right? Yeah. Other than like sleep and watch TV. Like For that sure. wasn't, that's yeah, not yeah. me. I don't watch TV, movies, and that's not me. Nah, nah. So like, I was like, all right, with these four hours, and I was into music, right? So I mean, well, obviously, I was into music. I went to school, right? So, mm 
um, those four hours, you know, it's it's up to you what you want to do. For well, like if you're in the same situation as me, it's like you have those four hours to try to. What are you gonna do? Watch movies and TV, or go and like relax because you retired from work, or are you gonna try to you know you gotta hustle and get that and put in that hundred percent in that in the making beats and shit. You know, it's yeah, hard yeah. because you, you have a part. You might have a partner. You know what I'm saying? It was it was hard. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it was it was tough, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was no, real no, tough. No, no. No, I mean it's not that. It's so, not. but so to end that point, my bad. Uh, just to end that okay. point, uh, like four hours, right? Of like, of like that, of that, that time. That's where that that's that's what I can advice I can give you is like with that amount of time you have left in the day to choose whether between music and TV and relaxation and hanging out with friends. That's 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 where it sets you aside from people. Is like, are you gonna hang out with friends and go like do stuff like? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. There's a I guess there's a balance, but for me. Maybe I'm too. I was too overboard about, it or like too od about it. Yeah. Uh, was like I sacrificed everything, right? Like that. Was, I went straight to beats. That was like my. That was like my number one pick, right? That was like yeah, for sure. That was my priority over anything, right? Yeah. And like you know, like th- yeah, it was like it was hard, bro. Like it was it was tough. No, no, no I feel the but exact same. You got to go bro. through that to yeah to now get my song and performed. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all that long story full circle came around but yeah no i feel that 100 percent, bro and like to be honest like um uh like i said when it comes to like uh you know time and time management and all that stuff like um these guys out there and these gals out there that really want it bro they go hard and if they want it enough they're gonna go hard and like they're going hard when you're not going when you're not doing this shit so yep. you gotta hold yourself accountable uh or else you're gonna hold the rest of your life accountable for not fucking going hard you yeah. feel me like I remember being in the military and like making beats when I would get off and stuff. And like, I didn't think it was like a career type of shit, but like, I knew I wanted to do it. I knew I wanted to record and stuff. And there's a lot of people out there that can do your job. And you know, some of these dudes and some of these ladies, they want it more than you. So you're going to either let them have it or you're going to fucking get at and get after it type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You pick and you, you pick and you choose. Cause you only get one run at this life type of shit. So if you want to do this shit, then do it. But if you don't, if you're not ready for that sort of responsibility, time and dedication, then like I would advise not even to waste your time. You know, because like uh, for us, you know, what I'm saying like just to finish with this, like for us, I don't know anybody. So I've had to grind for everything that I've had. Like I've had to work, work twice as hard for everything I know and everything like I've accomplished. I don't know anybody, dog. And I know you don't know nobody. So it's just like. When you don't know nobody in an industry of it's all about who you know and you know what I'm saying like you're just gonna have to go even harder type of shit and like yeah dude, it's not for everybody dude yeah I, you know what I mean like I get that shit but uh, if it's for you then there is no other choice you know what I'm saying you go hard or you don't yep I'm gonna ask I'm gonna, all right so we're back to another question real quick or right, a few more questions uh here's another question uh what music do you like to listen to outside of the kind of music you make. Ooh, you can go first. I'll go first. One. So yeah. I like off rip. My favorite genre of music isn't even like hip hop. It's like funk. That's like I love like mm-hmm. like Isley Brothers. Like you know, I, like Isley Brothers. Whether it's dude, there's so many. I mean, if Isley Brothers, uh, SOS like, band, yeah, Gap like band. a Gap band. Like that's like my favorite genre. Fat like, back, <laughs> like all that, all that, right? Like that's like Pretty my favorite shit. Um, yeah. So like I said, like funk is like my favorite shit. Like like funky soul shit and then uh i'd say like like my second favorite genre is probably like, um i guess it, i guess yeah it would be like a battle of like like hip-hop and like mm-hmm. i saw i say hip-hop second and then i'd say like third is like cumbias ah, okay, i actually like bad, really bad, fuck bad. cumbias it number makes me, three it is makes, cumbias for you yeah it makes me happy it makes me feel good like it's just like the rhythm is always like positive and like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. What, like the rhythms the beats are always fire like the rhythms it's always fire and like yeah. the upbeat even though yeah. he's talking about like fucking his girlfriend cheating on him or whatever, or, like leaving, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like always sounds sick though. Hey, it always you, just sounds uplifting. Can you recommend a cumbia to somebody who doesn't know what that is? Like yeah, Mis sh- Sentimientos by Los Angeles Azules. Oh damn! L O S Los Angeles A Z U L E S. Go through any of those songs. Fire. AKA yep. the Blue Angels. They're, you know, you know they're the first. Um, uh, I'm gonna butcher this, but they're the first like Mexican band or Mexican group or something mexican i just Group-ball. know it's the first one that hit a billion views on youtube really on their music video that song was it the come on no 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 no, no, no. It's, a, <laughs> it's a song i'm talking about it's a song i'm recommending is it it's like a banger yeah it's like one of my Damn. favorite ones too from them yeah there's a they, there's That's hits man they make shit, hits bro. yeah but yeah like I, I just like shit i grew up on like right so i like, like i like that all shit, that right i'm singing the right shit i don't know what you're singing 
Oh, oh shit. You're like yeah. mumbling. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> you're good. I can understand Spanish, but I can't speak Spanish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I can speak Spanish. Wait, what song but... are you singing, though? Like, just humble it, mumble it or something. Oh, or hum it. I can't remember what that shit's called. Wait, say it's like, hum, like, like um, hum it real quick. Como te voy a olvidar? Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's the same group. They make they make the same they make that song too. Yeah, some shit yeah. like that. Yeah. See, they're, they're, they make hits, man. Bang. But like all that shit. So like that's like my top three. Okay. Bang, well, bang. outside of outside of well outside of that, it's like yeah, like I say. Well, he said outside of the shit we do, so I can't even say hip hop. Oh, okay. I can't say hip hop. So number one, I'd say is like funk. Funk. And then two, I'd say or well, I'm a, I can't count. One, I'd say is uh <laughs> is funk. Two, is cumbias. <laughs> And I'm gonna give you one more. Third one is probably. I mean, wow. I'm gonna just say like house music or something. House? Yeah, cause oh, like, okay. like that's why I was listening to. I was like in seventh grade. <laughs> that's just really. I don't really listen to that much genre to be honest. I'm like a. I'm a music poser, so I don't know. Really? I don't listen to that much like that many genres. I mean, you went from cumbias to fucking funk. That's pretty. You know what I mean? I guess like the varieties. Yeah, crazy, yeah. The like, variety is wide. I mean, I yeah. There's like, I mean, I listen to, like all old school like alternative music, but like rock and like stuff like that. But like, I'm not like slapping you. it all the time, you know? Oh, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Like I, songs that I listen to on a consistent basis. Yeah, I'd say like funk and cumbias outside you, of the hip hop shit. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Yeah, the Blue Angel. But bro. I fuck with like you know I fuck with like Taylor Swift, Adele. Like oh. I'm, I'm into everything. I'm everything but everything but country. And like and like death metal screamo shit. That's oh, it. That's okay, like the two bet. genres I just don't listen to. I think the only two things I don't listen to is like new country. Wait, but is Taylor pop. Swift country? No, she's definitely pop. Okay, then or I like new country. So like sure. Taylor Swift school. I fuck with that. All that yeah, shit. I just don't listen. Ariana to pop, Grande right? school. Like, I like all that shit. I'm into. Oh, I'm into yeah, it. I'm into yeah. it all. You know. Yeah. You have to hear like all different perspectives and like you know it's just like I'm not a hater of music at all. I just I mean, no no no. I, no. I mean I'm just not the biggest fan of country music. You know? I guess yeah. Uh, Maybe lock like the doors said, like, and turn them lights the- <laughs> down low. Nah, but that old shit, that shit was fire, bro. That old country and shit, like that Waylon Jennings and shit, mm. Willie Nelson shit, bro. That shit's hard, dude. Um, the question is, what do we listen to outside, outside of like your genre that you make? Outside the that genre, you produce yeah. Like first that. thing is definitely like oldies and funk and shit. Yeah. Like I grew up on a lot of those East Side Story, Chicano, so, yeah. Wood. yeah, definitely like a Ch- a bunch of Chicano oldies and shit. I'm Eighteen, uh, f- a lot of funk. Um, definitely a lot of gangster rap, but we're saying outside of hip hop. Yeah, right? so I was saying outside of that. So, so yeah, say definitely DJ a lot Quick, of yeah. funk and shit, just like we're saying, like SOS, Gap Band, Fat Bag, fucking uh, Rolls Royce, fucking Brenton Wood. Brenton Wood's probably like my favorite and shit. Mm. I mean, that's a lot of people's favorite shit, but a lot of that. Um, and then I grew up and shit. My mom was always like into music and so was like my, my, uh, pops and shit, but I don't really know that full, but like, um, he was always into music and played music and shit. And then same thing with like my family, like they were always into like funk oldies, the new stuff coming out and stuff like that. Mariah Carey, fucking journey, fucking. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, huh? Yeah. All sorts of shit, bro. Like I love everything. I, I came up playing like a lot of punk. I came up playing like a lot of hardcore, like first off, like I started in like, a lot of like garage bands and shit like playing drums and shit like that and um i remember going to church when i was younger and like always wanted to play the drums but they never let me play them shits you know mm. what i mean like i was always intrigued by it like you know uh but they never let me you know what i mean because like they're always expensive and shit it's like yeah no, you're not playing this shit but um definitely punk definitely hardcore grindcore uh rock uh oldies funk uh crust uh Bro, you name it. Screamo. There's emo. a genre called gr- crust? Yeah, for sure. Crust is like a whole different thing, bro. It's like a lifestyle, man. You never seen like people like hop on trains and like squatters and stuff? No. No? Oh, shit. I don't want to yeah. get too deep into yeah, this you're, shit, but yeah. Yeah, you're a little... That's showing your age right there. Oh, uh, yeah. It's know. like a lot of like peaceful, don't take a shower, patchouli, lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Save the world, wow. peace and shit. But so we blend like in whole... well. I don't shower either, so we blend in yeah. well. Oh, bro, I knew you, bro. You stink. I know. You know what I'm saying? But I no, don't... I fuck with everything. Um, Rock, emo, hardcore, uh, pop, country. Just not, oh no, not pop and not new country. All right, just name not... your top three besides the hip hop. Besides hip hop? Yeah, but uh, the top three don't gotta be in order. Like number one doesn't have to be number one. Just oh, like top okay. three. Like... Uh, funk, hardcore and oldies probably all right yeah this is all right i got another one right here this is just, this should be a this should be a quick one what are daily habits outside of producing you do that are essential to you daily habits uh number one working out 
mm-hmm. um, to manifesting. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you got to wake up five minutes in the morning and be like, yo, this is what I'm going to get done today. This is uh, what I have to achieve this week or this is like my deadlines and stuff like that. I don't know about you, but I work a lot better when my back is like against the wall. Yep. It's like, all right, you got to get yep. this done. You, you got to get that done. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I would probably say working out is essential just because like exercise like when i was younger like everybody started to talk about exercise but like i never took it seriously until like i got older bro if you're not if you're gonna eat like shit you know what i'm saying like i recommend exercising and if you eat clean i still would recommend exercise yeah, regardless yeah. yeah regardless of the point just any sort of exercise will just uh so it clears the mind too it talks about the yeah. last when we're talking about the last episode yeah bro it, clears, it helps clear the mind yeah for sure man a lot of people are angry or a lot of people just feel down just because like uh they haven't run a mile in a long ass time or just got their heart rate like above 150 and like getting their heart rate up not from fucking monsters and sugar you know what i'm saying just from like sweating and stuff runners like high that. yeah yep. for sure you know what i mean a lot of people talk about like uh in lifting and stuff is like a uh, sweat equity you know what i'm mm. saying or like in business they call it skin in the game and bro you got to get in there and you got to yeah. like uh do that shit but i would probably say those two for sure yeah so i'm agree with him on the uh, working out for sure yeah um i was gonna say the like some corny ass one like making your bed but you know, oh, that one's good too. Like just to make sure, like you you complete something when you first wake up and you're like ready to go. Mm. Have a nice clean environment. You know what I'm saying? Like clean yeah. mind, clean uh, clean environment, clean mind type of thing. Yeah. Um. Well, this is not even this is not even like a like a. a hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! I forgot my mouse. Oh, that's what it was. Pause that real quick. And this is not, you're insane. This is not even. A, oh, we can keep we can keep it going. Sure. Just so it's easier for you to. They see it live in the flesh, man. This is what we do right here, I man. Just hit my head on the thing. All right, good. But yeah, but so I was gonna say, uh, <laughs> now you don't gotta cut that. Just so to save you time. Uh, yeah, this is not really like a habit, but I. Well, I guess it's like a habit. I guess like eating cleanly. I guess because I yeah like I used to like, especially when I started like making money. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go out to eat. I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get me McDonald's. I'm gonna get me a little. <laughs> I'm gonna go get me little canes. Like I'm gonna go get me this and Taco for Bell sure, and sure. all that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like nah. Make sure you eat good though. Like I meal prep my food and little, you know, the chicken, broccoli, rice, and like yep, you know, yep, healthier yep, yep. foods. Like that's what I would say too. Like eat healthy. Yeah. Just try to really live clean, you know. And like whether that's you know, obviously working out and yeah, and like eating right, and then like that makes you feel like because before like you know you just feel I don't know you feel gross and like I don't know like when you eat out all the time it just feels nasty. And a lot of people don't even understand how that feels just because like they're so like uh, just. You know, we were talking about Taco Bell, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like uh, earlier and shit. Like, you know, a lot of people, they had like Taco Bell two days in a row. You yeah. would never do that. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like not even like, you no, know I'd, what I mean? Like, I'd definitely still do that. But yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I But bro, sometimes it just, it's good, you know? Well, sometimes to be in the studio, like I'm not going to knock that because like if you're in the studio and you yeah. order some stuff, like it just comes with it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to be in the studio for three days. You know how we do those like sound selection link ups and shit? Yeah. I eat the most junk that I ever eat when, yeah. I, when I do those shits. And yeah. Because like. Because you're there like 1 a.m. What's open at 1 a.m.? You know, Taco Bell, you know, or yeah. whatever. But you know? yo, last time we were in Hawaii and shit, bro. You know, uh, dude, the fucking little poke and shit. Dude. Oh, you had every, you don't like it? No, I had like four different places deliver that shit. This shit is so good. Oh, okay, but it's, yeah, so, yeah. it's so much more healthier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a healthy option. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, but going back to your shit. Yeah, so I guess eating cleanly and working out that kind of mm-hmm. goes hand in hand, though. I feel like I don't know. Nah, you don't think bro. so? Nah, eating cleanly. Uh, eating clean is way harder than working out, in my opinion. Yeah, you're right. We, yeah, yeah that's definitely harder. But yeah. okay, f- yeah. So I say like yeah, working working out, eating right um but yeah they go they both go for health yeah i'm not gonna lie we kind of i have have like the same things because i was gonna say like i don't man well like not that i don't manifest things but i write things down and and like for like you know i have like goals i write down and like try oh see i don't write them down yeah yeah i write them down just so it makes me if i I write it down i see it and it's like another thing that i just remind if i write it down then i'm gonna know exactly what i failed at in life you know it's wow, like, damn. that was deep. I know. But what no, if we, you thought about it? <laughs> but if you thought about it, it's the same thing, no? Nah, I just forget the thought. You know, oh, like I, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but um, for some people, that might work though. You know, yeah, yeah. Like writing, writing that's, that's just down. what I do. I have like a, I have a daily calendar list because I'm real like, like you said. I like to, I don't know. Well, you said like you like being behind, like back against the wall, like type of thing. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I, I feel work like better I, that way. Yeah. So I feel like that's why I, like, I don't know. I like to write things down. I like to write things down. I just, I guess, because I can see it visually and like. Yeah. I don't know. For me, it's just and I, bro, I suck. I I forget like crazy. I I'm very I'm terrible at remembering stuff. So I have to write it me down. Me too. Yeah. And like, 
so that's why I keep keep track of stuff like that. And like I guess that's like a habit too, right? You get to write anything you want, you just write it down or that's like a habit, I guess, that you can get into. It's like any goal you want, write it down. And then you make, I, this is what I was gonna, Oh, that's another thing I was going to say because um, I was trying to find it. I had a notebook of like placements I wanted and G Perico was on on, the, on mm. one of the placements and it's like crazy how that happened, right? So <laughs> Go listen. That's another, that's another flash I had when I was at the show. It was like, oh, like that when I was writing down my placements I wanted to get. Um, that's dope. Yeah, so it was sick, but... Yeah, and I was like, that's like kind of like manifest. We had like the same thing, really. Like the working out, you know, and stuff. And like, yeah, well, the, I mean, I'm not to say that, not to say that we're successful or anything, but we're striving for success. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, those things will definitely help out. Yeah. And it's no, it, it's, you know, it's no surprise that we both do those things yeah. and shit. So I'd say like definitely like another thing, try to keep your room tidy and clean. Yeah. I have a little candle that I light up, you know, before I'm making beats. For Make sure. sure you feel like comfortable at your play at your at your house. Yeah, yeah. Your, well, your studio, yeah, yeah. your room, wherever you make beats at. You know, it's really just like how you feel, man. You gotta you gotta be feeling a hunter type of shit. Yeah. it's like all about how you're feeling and shit. And uh, if you're sleep deprived or haven't, you know, what I mean, just been drinking or smoking for six days straight or some shit like that. Like uh, some stuff can be accomplished, but it's probably not the best stuff that could be accomplished. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, I got another one, one last one for me, and then we we'll go right. to yours. Say less. This is my guy right here, Eli. It's my boy since day one right Shout here. Shout out, Eli. My guy, bro. Eli. E L I. Yep. Damn. It's my guy. Uh, we call him. I call him E L one though. Like E L one. You don't get it. I do. Yeah. L one the limiter. Oh. That's why. So I call him L one. Damn. It's kind of sick name. Yeah, sick ass nickname. I don't know how I feel about that because I feel like the L one's the worst limiter. Well, it, it's the only one that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just talking. You know what I'm saying? Like Eli, no, I the, you can't hey, put, the new L one. I can't sick. call him L two. Yeah. That's not his name. His name's E L I. It makes sense when Bro, you write it down. L two. That's the industry standard. That's what I'm saying. But you know what I'm saying? I can't call him. This L2. is all producer shit or uh, engineer. Yeah. Shit. So, uh, what's your favorite? Thi- what's your favorite thing about making music besides getting people to use your beat slash collab? All right, what's your favorite thing? Mine is uh, getting to express like the years of, well, now I'd say is like the years of growth of where I first started to now. And it's like, get I get to see like the, like the, my passion project grow. I get to see, mm. I get to see that, that 64 Impala after I buffed it down and see and put that last layer of, of, of you know, prime or whatever they got call you, it. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like you get to see it all. Like, a good reception towards a, your yeah, heart. A good, yeah. You get to see it all like come out, right? It's yeah like for sure you've been working on that car like your whole life like a project car you've had you've been working on for sure and like you know you see it all like finally come together you put that well yeah i was gonna say it's like a project car that'll never be done because you always you obviously you can't you know yeah it's a project car that finally started is gotcha, that, is gotcha. that i guess that's what i could say i don't know nah, like, I feel like, what's you the get question to see the again? progress what's the question again uh what's your favorite thing about making music besides getting people to use your beat slash collab making music like you, the, whether it's the passion you know stuff like that or, got you got you like, i would it'd probably be for like uh the two things like you know the thing you just experienced where it was like hearing your record like um uh play on the big speakers at a show you know what i mean yeah, um, right. hearing something you know what i mean hearing somebody play it out their car is a big deal for me i remember the first time hearing that and like i didn't know the person and like hearing somebody play my shit i was like yo this yeah. is uh I still, really, I still haven't had that yet but it you haven't happen. had that yet okay no. bet, bet, bet. i mean it's only happened to me like once or twice yeah, or some yeah. shit like that and it was just like some random ass shit you know what i mean just because it has to be like somebody who's really deep into the game and shit but yeah yeah that that that's a pretty good feeling i'm not gonna lie about that that was uh that was one of the ones where i was like damn that shit's cool just because like yeah. i know how much i bump music and like yeah. i turn my shit down and yeah like, I, my windows are open yeah. like hey the world's gonna hear this when you, when you, you know get know that low-key artist you're like oh, let me turn this down yeah yeah because yeah, 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 yeah. like, they I'm, might say like some oh you're not slapping drake what are you yeah. doing slapping this for oh, like no, you don't know who bro. that is you know what i'm saying bro i don't give a fuck how many bro of all the people i know i've never gotten somebody's car and somebody was like hey throw in that new drake no yeah it's never happened i don't know anyone that i mean i do know people that like fuck with drake but like i don't i don't have friends i don't go in people's cars so i don't know <laughs> i got you yeah got but you. so what are you gonna say that, that, was, that was your question that was your answer yeah the, uh-huh. uh that's probably like uh just like two pretty much answers. hearing it like performed and like you like hearing like the, whether it's people, people slapping res- the car people being receptive towards it and yeah. really liking it is yeah. probably like the best shit ever yeah yeah, yeah. That's, just because that's, he's been so long. you know what i mean like most of the time it's like me or like other artists and or other producers just like locked up in one room and like uh you know listening to it over and over and over and hearing what's wrong with it just hearing people be receptive to like the the end product and shit yeah all right bro i got my questions now, Go ahead. Man. all right let me ask like a simple one you know what i'm yeah. saying 
let's go with this uh Shamahami Don Bailey and shit. It was oh my God, Don. Don Bailey. He wants to know um as far as building relationships. Hold with on, clients. what's his tag? Why why can't I I just blanked? Hold uh, on. Uh Hold damn on. Dom, you did yeah, this shit. Yeah, there you go. Damn Dom, you did this shit. Yeah, no. Shout out no. my dog Dom damn Bailey. Dom. He wants to know about building relationships with clients and uh staying on routine for uploading beats to YouTube. Mm. Um, it don't have to be staying routine with uh, uh, YouTube. It could just be all of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whether it's Airbit or uh, Beat Stars and shit like that. Well, I'm assuming, yeah, like getting shit posted and stuff. Yeah, like, just yeah. Uh, uh, accountability. Yeah, I think we touched on a lot of that stuff. But let's talk about like, uh, honestly, the building relationships with clients. What do you think about that? Uh, there's two ways I think about it. Like whether it's beats or whether it's engineering. When it's mm. engineering, it's it's when you're recording at least. I'm thinking about like. Cause I, you know, when you record artists, you want to make sure like you always treat them re- with respect, right? Yeah. Make sure like you let me let me make sure I'm speaking into it. Um, there you go. Make sure make sure that you're spe- that you're talking to them and you're giving them confidence and you're you're like you want to be like receptive to them. Like if it's you know give them good feedback, solid feedback. Don't like just say yes. Don't be a yes man. Like yo, that sounds good. When you know it yeah. really doesn't, because at the end of the day, your name's on it, and you don't want your, something on your product to be no, bad. You know, bad no, represented no. or represented to, like bad on your name. Exactly. So yeah. you want to make sure you. This is for like a mixing or or like engineering or like um, oh my god, I can't think of like you're live. You're like you're like a recording engineer and like mixing engineer type of thing. Yeah. So you want to make sure like when it comes, this is for that client, right? Like you want to make sure he's, your goal is for him to keep coming back to you every sure. single, every yep. single project he has or record, right? You yeah. want him to keep coming back to you and not move on to another studio. You want him to come to you. You treat him with respect. He'll treat you with respect usually. And, um, there are some people that, you know, it's hard to like, you know, like to kind of not control, but to like be around and stuff. But yeah. So I'd say like treat them with respect, um, Give them real feedback. Be receptive to whatever they have to say to you and whatever they're performing. Make sure you get the best take out of them and give them the confidence to get that best take out of them. You know, you want to you want them to know, like, you know, like you're not just some engineer. You're like an artist yourself and you can hear like what's what can, what's getting what's getting recorded. And then you want the best outcome for them because at the end of the day, it's also on you. For sure. Your name's on it. So that's for like engineering and for producing. Um. I guess like uh, if you want to keep clientele, you know, make sure like may, always tell people like you appreciate them purchasing beats from because think I mean, <laughs> it's, you know, I was saying to go back to like bro, it took me like almost a year and a half to sell my first beat. You know, I think that fool like crazy. I sent him like five emails. Respond. <laughs> I had a conversation like bro, I appreciate you like crazy. Like for sure, you don't understand. Sure. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was like twenty bucks or something. I was like bro, like you don't understand like how long I've been doing this. I appreciate you. Like this is like crazy for me. Like I didn't even. You know, not to stop you right there, but like you know, the first time like I sold a beat online, like I'm still friends with that person to this day. Oh really? Yeah. I tried to up. have him hit me yeah. up, but he didn't hit me up. Oh shit. I hit that fool up. We had like two email conversations, and I just shout out my homie Luke, bro. Damn. Sorry. Shout out Luke, man. Yeah. That's tight. Uh yeah, but like, um, uh, now, now you got me thinking about who it was. I can't remember his name, but yeah, yeah his uh, name is Luke. Oh, you talking? I was talking yeah, about my, my guy. Yeah, yeah my homie's name is Luke. Uh, he's a a PA for a uh, Nico G4. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, tight. He, he's yeah. still around, yeah, doing his thing. Bro, he's, de- bro, he's a hard fucking worker. Yeah, that's bro. tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, yeah he, he fucking, he goes hard at everything he does, and he was the first one who bought a beat, like, from me online. I think we had, like, Cash App or, like, Venmo or Zelle or Oh, some okay, shit. it wasn't, yeah. like, through Beatstars. It was, just, like, yeah, through, it wasn't yeah. even through Beatstars oh, type okay. of shit, but, yeah, he had found me and shit, and uh, shout out my homie Luke. Yeah. yeah. So, I say for, like, like, when it comes to, like, beats, it's, like, yeah, like appreciate everyone that like ever buys it and don't take it for granted because you you know you know you know how hard you've been working on beats with all the sacrifices you've made Mm -hmm. and like and you know how hard it is for people to actually sell beats you know it's it's not it's not everyone not everyone's selling beats all the time you know so be grateful for that beats you were selling and like and show love back to them every time someone responds to you and was like and sends you something you know like i'd say like you know, like give honest feedback with them. You know, if they, it, for people who buy beats and send you their song, like bro, like give them honest feedback. Give them like because sure. they respect that. They they trust you. They they believed in you enough to buy your beat and like mm-hmm. you know give them the time that give them at least like a thirty second listen or a minute in you know or the whole thing. Like give them yeah. show them that like, you actually care about it and like give them genuine feedback. You know, I tell people all the time they send me songs like you know like the hook's cool but it needs to be mixed better or like I don't like the way like you said the part on the verse like for sure add filler words because like the way you like elongate the word sounds weird and like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know, try to give them genuine feedback right and like that's why i feel like you just be genuine with them and like don't try to fake nothing all the time like that's why you keep a real relationship building you know to keep them coming back yo yo he actually took out the time to listen to my song i'm gonna fuck with him and buy more beats you know for sure like that. for sure yep 
definitely. That's what, that's what I got to say, at least. Um, as far as, like, the clients and shit like that is uh, just communication and shit. Anybody who, like, buys from me or anybody that tries to, like, build with me, like, um, consistently, like, I just give them my personal number and stuff. I talk to them all the time and shit just because, like, I always have uh, time to talk to people and shit. And I'm just like, hey, man, like, fucking, how you doing, bro? You know what I'm saying? I, you know, like, uh, a lot of the times, like, a lot of people have my number and they hit me up and they just, like, they're, like, uh, the first thing they do is just, like, ask me for something. But, like, all the dudes who I really fuck with, they ask me how I'm doing first. <laughs> and then they ask me for something, mm. which kind of feels, like, a little bit better and shit. So, um, just being communicate, uh, just uh, communicating with them as far as, like, clients and shit like that. And, um, and uh just being cool and shit and not taking it too serious and stuff like that but just you know what i'm saying just having good communication and just doing whatever uh you know what i'm saying like whatever you're doing to make everything sound better and um help them out to a certain point you know what i'm saying because like you know what i mean like if you can help them out and they can help you out like uh the clients will be a lot better but same thing that you're saying though too like um on my youtube i like and i uh i thumbs up and i i heart every comment that i ever get i don't respond to all of them but it, even if it's like some hate shit like uh i still thumbs it up but i still heart it you know what i'm saying just because like you know what I mean? Like, I know it gets to them, but at the same time, like, they still took time out there to make a comment on your page when they didn't have to type of shit. But, yeah, I like everybody's stuff. And then um, as long as you're communicating and everybody is, like, on the same page as far as, like, sharing stuff and, like, um, rollouts and everything like that, just communication is, like, number one. So as long as you have, like, a good communication with your clients or client list and your people, Everything will be pretty cool, man, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, that's the way I, I found I had success for me, but I know that's not for everybody, but um, yeah, that's the best advice I could probably give for like clients and shit and just yeah. holding on to clients and stuff. Oh, well, that's a good way to answer. You got a little bit of something for me and from him. You feel me? All right, quick question. In-N-Out versus Whataburger, man. Fuck Whataburger, in and out all day. I never had Whataburger, so I'm a, it's an instant In-N-Out for me. You know, like, I hear people are, uh, well, I hear my homie Banco and all these fools at yeah. Ellie Dollar and Les and yeah. shit, like, talk about this shit all the time. I mean, the bottom line comes to this, and I'm just going to end this debate, you know what Wait, I'm saying? have you had water Whataburger? I have, yeah, I yeah. Let like me it. just end it right here, you know what I'm saying? Like, fucking Whataburger, they pay their, their, their employees, like, fucking $10 or $7, some bullshit-ass minimum wage, and in and out you can start a career mm. and you start off at like twenty dollars with that and shit. they help out with their education right you feel me you yep. know what i'm saying so who would you rather make your burger some person who's getting helped out or some person who don't even give a fuck type that's of true shit? and a debate next yeah, question that's true and if you want to argue with me hit me in the comments yeah <laughs> but nah i'm just kidding they ain't over shake shack though i'm going shake shack i'm going shake shack shake all day get over the right fuck now. out of here no nah, that cherry shit. wood smoked bacon that shit's fire Oh my god! The, the cherry uh, smoke shack. That's my I'm just shit. talking shit, bro. I fuck. I love all of them and shit. You've had Shake Shack. You had Shake Shack though, but I haven't had Shake Shack. I'm just talking shit. Oh, you you will you like it though? Uh, let's see. They only got them out here. They go to LA. Hey, do you have any? Uh, let's see. Workflow, Studio Essentials, Session Vibes. I got Studio Essential. What's your Studio Some Essential, bro? Speakers, because I'm telling you right now, is they don't. It, it, if you're if you're working on laptop speakers and headphones all day i'm telling you i used to do i did that for the first like two years of my me making beats right because my yeah. parents didn't want me to have speakers yep i had headphones like two years it doesn't i'm t once you hear them in the loudspeakers and it it changes everything now because now i can't go back to headphones uh -uh. it doesn't sound the same to me no more not not i'm not talking about just like sound quality i'm not yeah. i'm not talking about that you can have the trashiest speaker i had the bro if you go on amazon right now i had like the the little hundred dollar pair of speakers like for a pair of hundred dollars the mackies right <laughs> yeah. i had those and i'm talking about like the three inch ones not no five inch not even a five inch i had literally three inch mac the logitech joints or what no nah, worse than logitech it, it was trash bro i'm telling you i had like the <laughs> bottom barrel shit and then and i'm telling you right now it sounds way better than uh, i have I, for me at least this is my, i mean my opinion right you can get what speakers do you have now Right now, I got the Atom T T five T five Vs. Would you recommend those? Yeah. All right, bet. Yeah, if you have a small room, if you have a big room like this, you gotta get the sevens or the eights. Those are eights, but I keep them clean. You know? Yeah, but I got seven. But I would recommend. Well, I I don't think they make eights. They make sevens. Oh, for the Atoms. Yeah, yeah. For the Atoms, they don't have. Yeah, but I, I, I'm gonna buy a subwoofer for two extra. But anyways, that's that's besides the point. I'm getting off track. But yeah. <laughs> So like uh yeah I recommend getting speakers whether it's the trash ones whatever just because you get a whole different vibe you feel the you feel it like you can bro when the bass hits you it's like rumbling your chest or yeah, your kick yeah, hits yeah, yeah. you you know like okay like it just sounds like better you know yeah I, that's what I would recommend 
If, if you're talking about the studio uh, essentials and stuff like that. No, I would say the exact same thing. Yeah. I think we and I don't even have an interface. My bad. I'm, I'm talking oh, way good, too much. But like no. the interface, I didn't have an interface at the time. I literally had that shit come out through the aux into my speaker type thing. Like, oh, that's what I'm saying. Gotcha, I, have gotcha, no, like, gotcha. I don't have no legit shit. Like I had some trash, chafa shit. Like I don't have nothing, right? No, I would recommend speakers too. I think we talked about this on the first podcast. I uh, I told the story, but like, yeah, I had a studio just so I would be loud type of shit. Just because like I had the KRK seven the rocket eight i think mm-hmm. and it was like in my small ass of fucking apartment yeah, that shit was, was smaller thumping. than this yeah. i had a whole fuck i got a whole studio every month just so i could bump music and like all my clients would pay it out and shit but yeah definitely essentials for sure speakers and shit and be able to be loud and besides that man a couple brews maybe a nice candle yeah. um some cool those like i had like the different color lights and shit mm-hmm. that shit does help the um, vibe setter yeah, definitely a vibe setter. You producer Thuder lights. Yeah, um, a Swiffer. I love my Swiffer. Mm. Get one of those bad boys. Clean. Yeah, I love the Swiffer, but to be honest, I love the way that it smells. Like when you're mm. done cleaning, you're like, ah, oh, he did clean. Well, if you have wood floor, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Some people have got carpet. You know, make sure yeah. you vacuum your shit with the little. Or hit it with some Febreze type of yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. No, nice little vibe. Type of shit. Yeah, yeah. But smells good. Feels good. You feel me? Sounds Beats good. good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would say. My essentials, but definitely speakers for yeah. sure. Yeah. If you don't have speakers, like that's like the first barrier entry you got to get into yeah for sure but you know if your parents trip in obviously deal with what you got and you know put the laptop speakers or the or the uh or even like a bluetooth speaker or like a headphones you know like it's it yeah. definitely changes the changes it uh, i mix in my car sometimes too so go out to your yeah, car but if cool. you don't have a car then um Get those earbuds. Go to Guitar popping. Center and uh, actually get the skull candies i think those skull candies actually sound pretty good in ear and they're pretty competitive just because they're kind of like basic uh or just airpods or some shit like that just something that somebody listens to music to i think airpods constantly. is really good just because everyone's listening and for sure the majority so. of people are listening to airpods yeah. so that's a good way to reference mix and stuff yeah like that if they sound good on there you yeah know what I'm saying? We all right bro um last question yep let me check this shit right here yeah how much money should you invest into being a producer yeah let's see so i'll let you go first and shit how much you think it's like a money thing or you think it's like a time thing i probably would say like money like barrier of entry type of shit like how much how much do you think it took to get you just started you know what i'm saying yeah that dollar amount or all right well uh let's see it depends i guess because for me for my experience I, i spent no money in the very beginning okay was because I, my mom gave me her, one of her old laptops. Okay. And then that's the laptop I made to make beats. Okay. So it depends, right? If you don't have a yeah. laptop, it's di- it's hard, different, right? Um, I'm going to assume everyone has a laptop in their house or a computer of some sort. Okay. And then... Uh, uh, wait, so should I tell what I did or should I tell what should I recommend people? Like looking back right now, yeah. if you had like you know, a certain amount yeah, of money, like okay. how much do you think it would cost to get you started? To get me started... Uh, uh what well, assuming they have a laptop or yeah okay let's that. assuming you have a laptop or a computer or a desktop at your house or whatever mm-hmm. um that's assuming that um then i'd say like really realistically uh, if, if you're if you're short on money i'm gonna say like 150 bucks 200 bucks you buy the cheapest version of fl which is 75 bucks is it yeah i think it's 75 damn okay I think it's seventy five. Don't quote me on that, but it might be seven. It might be seventy five. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume the cheapest version, the basic version of FL is seventy five bucks. Yeah, because if you get the free one, you can't even save. You can't even hit save. So like you have to have. Oh a, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to get at least minimum seventy five bucks. Well, you can save it. You just can't open it back up. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you buy it, right, or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, I would say uh, I'd recommend buying. Oh damn! Hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So. I'm gonna say with 150 bucks off rip, when you have a free, you have your laptop from either your mom gave it to you for school or your, yeah. you know, whatever. Let's just say you have a laptop or a computer or a desktop, and uh, whether that be Mac or Windows, it doesn't matter. Uh, we buy FL um, with 75 bucks, and then um, and then uh, from there you you can buy Expand. That's like 15, 10 bucks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you buy like all the cheap shit, right? You buy like Expand. You buy Purity. Expand in purity and then like uh, uh, I'm trying to think what are some other like cheap plugin uh, lounge lizard yeah like for yeah, roads yeah. and stuff like that right 
Um, Anything really on sale on Plug and Boutique. Yeah, go to Plug and Boutique. Buy like 20. Anna's like 25 bucks or 50 bucks. Buy that. Is it? I swear, uh, that's why how much I bought it. I bought mine for like twenty five bucks, I think, or, or fifty bucks on Anna. But I think because you just come to the Slate shit, right? Yeah. I have Slate too, but I just don't have the Slate one installed. But anyways, you go to Plugin Boutique or Plugin Boutique. Uh, is that the only one? That, yeah, like Plugin Boutique and um, there's With a, there's, the sales and shit. Anyways, yeah. yeah, I would say buy. I would recommend buy FL for seventy five bucks. Mm-hmm. Get Expand Purity and uh, um, like Anna two, and boom that. And those, uh, did I say Lounge Lizard? No, Lounge Lizard. That's one of the cheap ones. You yeah. Said, yeah, Lounge Lizard, Expand, and I mean, even this, those two are good, I think. You're solid off that. Maybe even Anna 2, there's a lot more sounds than that for cheap, right? Buy cheap yeah. plugins. That's like 150 bucks. And that's like without even spending like money on, that's like not including, that's like bare minimum at least. Yeah, That's yeah. what I'm saying. But of course, we just said recommend speakers. So go ahead, buy like a little $100 pair of speakers on Amazon or something um buy yourself like a little mouse uh, uh like right because i don't like i don't like using them for me i don't like for me at least personally i don't like using the trackpad i don't know yeah, why yeah. i don't like it i don't know if my my fingers don't work or what but i just don't like the, the trackpad yeah i buy a little bluetooth mouse or something and then uh that's like 20 like 30 bucks on amazon probably 20 bucks really if you really find some bear you know yeah chaffa shit um get that 20 bucks that's you're already at like Two fit two seventy around taxes three hundred, and then yeah, that's like bare minimum right there. Yeah, and then maybe if you want like little if you have AirPod, I mean everybody's got AirPods now. Yeah, for it's sure. It's like free from Christmas or something, you know. <laughs> free You're, from Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah like not like your mom bought them for you for Christmas, <laughs> okay, your dad, gosh. or like you finessed them from some foot at the gym. You took them from his bag. You know, mm-hmm. the, you can get AirPods. You know, what I'm saying this is 2022. You find a way to get it. You know, what I'm saying yeah, no complaints. Always gonna be a way. Always gonna be a way. So that's like yeah. right there, like three, four hundred bucks. Boom. The, for like the cheapest. I'm not even talking about interface. Not for none sure. of that. You don't need that at all right now. No. You know, what I'm saying you're just starting bare minimum. That's it. That's the route I'd go right now. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. To be honest, if I was gonna take this route, I think I could probably. If you have the computer or the laptop. Uh, it really depends on how seasoned you are and stuff like that. But if I had to do anything, I'm a like, fact check FL while you do that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would definitely buy a DAW. You're gonna need a DAW. I mean, I know the FL producer version. I think it's like three hundred dollars that comes with VSTs. I don't even think I have that one. I have like the regular signature version where I don't have like morphine or Sakura or any of those shits. Um, but I would probably take it a different route, like um. As long as I had the laptop, I would download, like, there's a lot of, plenty of uh, good resources out there that have free drum kits, and I would just stockpile as many free drum kits as I could, and there's a lot of, like, uh, resources, especially, like, on YouTube, where a lot of people are letting their loops go for free. I would probably take that route and just uh, use people's stuff and try to collab and try to work with them, and, um, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you're already, by default, going to have two different people on the beat. So, it would probably sound good, you know what I mean? As long as you know what you're doing. Like, if right now, if I, you know what I mean? If that was my choice, like, I probably would, um, like, for example. All right, perfect example. If I wanted to make, like, Larry June, like, payroll Giovanni shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would find, like, a resource for good drums. And I'd probably go to soundselectionkiss.com and go catch, like, a nice fucking loop kit to, like, whatever sounding, like, what it, I want to sound like. So if it's like some Drake shit or if it's like some some Larry stuff or whatever you're trying to do, like I would try to find like a loop kit or something like that and try to like finesse that type yeah, of shit. Yeah, to really spark yourself. Yeah, yeah because right. it's like work smarter, not harder type of shit. And like, you know, even if you dabble into the VSTs, it's cool to own, you know what I mean? But if I wanted to get started right now, I probably would do that just because if somebody was starting right now, I feel like, um, just like I was, like, I would probably start off sampling, you know what I mean? Like, we're talking about, like, the old beats, like, yeah. fuck, bro, I had to, like, dig through 15, the first, like, 10 are all samples and shit, so yeah. I think, like, the first thing that sparks people's interest is the, definitely, like, the ease of samples and stuff like that, but, um, I would definitely cop as many free drum kits as I could, and there's a lot of, plenty of resources out there, and just find the best ones, or honestly, I've done this before, too, where I've got, like, a splice account for, like, a month, and all the credits, I just download like the most uh, high resolution kick and snares. You know, even if it's like the rack kick and rack snare and stuff like that, that stuff is like still used to this day. Or the eight, uh, the TR eight hundred eight drums and stuff like that. Like all that stuff will get you through like most of what I do. You know what I mean? Like that's what I would do. And then um, probably cop like a loop kit or see somebody's free loop kit or something like that, or find some dope ass samples. 
Go to loopermin.com. Yeah, but uh, I would definitely need speakers, though. I would highly recommend speakers. And if you can't afford the monitors, I would probably get like a, a Bluetooth Beats by Dre yeah. pill or a JBL pill or something like that or Bluetooth Bluetooth joint or something. Yeah. So I just fact checked the, the cheapest version of FL is called a Fruity and it's 100 bucks. Oh, decent. What does that come with? Uh, I should have checked that, honestly. Actually, don't worry about it, bro. Fuck those. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I fuck with them. There's some good stuff. You know what's crazy? Shout out my you homie. Get flex. Buck. You get Bro, flex. Flex shout, is cool. Hey, shout out my homie Buck and shit. My homie Buck was uh going to uh not SA. I think he was going to SAE in um in Hollywood and shit. And mm-hmm. like the image line dude was there. Mm. And um they seen he had like the illegal bootleg version. I think he got kicked out for that shit. Bro. Damn. Yeah, it was crazy, dude. Yeah, see that's why I caught my shit. I don't have my I don't know I don't got mine like that. I well, bought Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. I was going to say, I bought, uh, when I first started, remember when I was talking about, like, I quit it, I quit and shit, like, when I quit, I was already done, but, like, the one thing that brought me back to the game was, like, when FL came out for Mac, mm. and when FL came out for Mac, like, I bought that shit, and that's really what came back into the game. I think I bought that shit for, like, myself and my birthday, and when I turned, like, 27 or 28 or some shit like that, and, like, I just been spazzing out ever since, so, like, now that I have an FL license for my own shit, which is the exact same license right here. Like, uh, yeah, best investment I ever did, bro. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Uh, so, this was brought up a good point because I was thinking about, like, uh, I have FL, but I was going to say, um, I know people are going to ask, like, right? Because I, I asked myself the same thing, right? When I was starting off, like, do you need a MIDI controller? Or do you need a keyboard, right? Yeah. So, this is what, I was, this is what I'm going to recommend. If you don't have nothing, I mean, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you do this just for some people that maybe are like producers or rappers that might want to make their own beats uh there's uh oh we should do sorry stick up job we should do the rapper one too we'll do the rapper one after this okay so like yeah, yeah. uh well no, no i'm saying like for if the rapper wants to make beats so this still has for to sure. do with beats right so yeah um uh what i would do because I, I i i just i just i didn't I, I forgot that i did this or that it happened uh, with my keyboard that i bought um if you buy the akai fire mpc or the well the kai fire mpc I don't know why I just thought I, th- I thought about that because I left I gave this to my brother but yeah. the um the new keyboard that comes with FL it's called the wow the one I brought to the remember I brought oh here? Novation the Novation yeah, yeah. FL key one if you buy that it comes with a it comes with a a free three months or six months I think it's three months or six months of the producer edition trial oh for FL and you get it so okay. you get a keyboard and you get the and you get the FL for like three months or six months trial yeah so you get a two hundred dollar edition. I sound like a like a salesman for them. I know, right? Uh, hey, uh, image line, image line, hit me up. I can give away. I'll, going hey, on? pay me. I'll give away some codes. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So two hundred bucks. I think it's like it was like two twenty or two thirty for the for the actual keyboard itself, but it comes with a free trial of FL for like two to, for like three to anywhere from three months or six months. I don't remember exactly. So you get you get a producer edition. Yeah. For three to six months, trial it out, right? And yep. you get to test it out, and you get yourself a keyboard that's dope because it works with FL. Yeah. You could pause, play, start, record, undo, redo on all that, and like, there's like there's a lot of cool, dope features on that keyboard that are that work well with uh, FL. Yeah. So I would recommend that maybe, and that's another that's another route because I like I know I, I'm I'm like the same. There's people there's people out there that'd be like the same way as me. Like I like to see what what are my options that I can yeah. choose from to go? Yeah, so sure. here's another, that's just another option I thought of right now. Yeah. It's like, you can get that keyboard, you get a keyboard. If you're just in case you're like, yo, I, I feel like you feel like you need a keyboard. Cause I feel like that too. Yeah. Like sometimes I don't really like playing on the key, on the laptop keys. I like, I feel like I need a kind of like a MIDI now. Um, like it's so ingrained in me now that I feel like I kind of need it. So yeah. So I recommend like, that's just another route. I feel like it's like, you get that keyboard, it comes with FL. Yeah. And then maybe you can add on a, you can add a, a few extra dollars and get those other plugins. And then boom, you got a keyboard, MIDI, and then like another, another like hundred bucks for like a speaker and shit, and yeah, or fifty bucks you get a Bluetooth speaker, and that's cool. Yeah, so and, uh, yeah, and okay, now going back and like if you're a rapper, I probably would um, if assuming you have a laptop and stuff like yeah. that, I probably would buy a um, you know the uh, the year long of DistroKit just so you can have your uh, music uh, distributed and yep. you can have like, it's like thirty um, bucks analytic and some shit like that. You know what I mean? Like have that for sure. 
Um, I would probably get the focus right preamp, and if it's not the or not the preamp, but the interface, if I don't get the focus right, I probably get the uh, the UA arrow, and if it's not the arrow, it's probably that new SSL joint, and if it's not the SSL joint, it's probably the ID four or what's that? If, uh, yeah, if you want, if you want the cheapest cheapest route, is the Behringer, but no, nah, no, nah, not even promote. I wouldn't, no, yeah, no, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, promote, okay, yeah. don't, yeah, but I wouldn't promote anything I, I go, Behringer. I, yeah, bare yeah. minimum, Scarlet. Scarlet, the for Scarlet sure. Bare interface. Minimum. You get, you know. What, what do you think about bare minimum microphone? I would say the Audio Technica joint. No, Audio Technica is cool. The one, yeah. I, the, the twenty, the one I thought I had. Yeah, the condenser the, joint, right? The the con- I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the eight, the, the Audio Technica uh, eight. Eight, the AT twenty twenty. Was, yeah, was I would like probably recommend that hundred dollar mic. Exactly, I would probably recommend that. Um, the Scarlet and then a Distro Kit. Oh, and then one thing: don't ever get a USB mic. No, that was, no, no, them no, no, things no, trash. No, no, no. So Unless you're doing get, like podcast or a voiceover or some shit like that, I wouldn't do that. And then um, I just had a lot of problems with people using USB mics, and they send me tracks, and it sounds like terrible. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, why yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's why bro. I don't recommend that. It's at too all. hot, bro. Yeah, yeah. No. So yeah, just get a just get you a little condenser microphone. Uh, like the this the the AKG is cool. AKG is cool. The AKG P four twenty is what it's called, I think, or something P twenty twenty. Yeah. The one I thought I had was the Sony. Does the Audio Technica AT twenty twenty? I think. Oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. the, the that's the, one I thought I had. But yeah. yeah, I got the AKG one. But yeah, yeah, I would recommend that shit. Yeah. And um, just because it's like a little bit cheaper, and then um cheap ass headphones uh, i would recommend behringer headphones for this situation just because just you for get tracking like, yeah you can get them for like 15 bucks or something like that and that's what i would do and just uh least dope ass beats and then um you know you can be a good ass rapper and put it all out there and um yeah just that's what i would do as far as getting like a setup going even like, like yeah that. that's just like setup yeah I was gonna yeah say, yeah that's just setup yeah but uh dollar amount i probably would um two three hundred uh, no, nah, I'd rather go in there with like 500 to a thousand, to be honest. And, uh, don't be shy about that shit because if like I told people how much I invested in myself, there'd be a lot of money type of shit and people yeah. wouldn't want to do it. So 500 to a thousand dollars, I feel like can get you started and get you in the right, uh, the right path to do some stuff and shit. You know what I mean? Cause like, yeah, you need some, pl- I mean, yeah, well, if you're just recording yourself, you don't need to spend that much. Yeah. I mean, but well, if you're going to like record, mix, engineer yourself, yeah. You're gonna, Cause you're not going to buy plugins. Like think about how expensive plugins are. Yeah, if you're, you if you're auto tune though. Well, if you're just, in, uh, yeah, yeah. but there's waves tune, you know, so it's like waves tune's like thirty bucks. If you get the real time, it's like fifty or thing or something. Like that. That's true. That one's or Melodyne, you know, Mel- or oh, Melodyne's Mel- expensive. Mel- yeah, yeah. yeah. Melodyne's expensive. But I'm saying, like, if you you know, if you're just starting out, get the waves yeah. retune, and then there you go, like you know. Yeah, I mean, man. I'm yeah, just talking about, yeah, I'm just talking yeah, about yeah, bare yeah. minimum. Yeah, I know, bare you, minimum I know you're fi- saying I'm, I, yeah. I'm tarries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we can get yeah we can get crazy, but yeah, bare minimum five hundred to a thousand dollars. Be uh, expect to pay that. I would say. Yeah. You know I mean? In my in my range, I would say. Like yeah, don't be a flaking. Steal my bees because I will find you. Oh my god. <laughs> don't do that. So yeah. And you, don't steal don't my be, shit either, and, bro. What the and fuck? also, like, this goes for producer engineer. Don't be afraid to invest money. That's the that's what I recommend. I, bro, I sure. got more money when I invested, dog. That's like, what I'm saying. Uh, you, yeah. you'll, you'll, you know, like, man, just yeah. There's a lot of people that are scared to drop that hundred bucks on a speaker. That's yeah, trash. No, 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 no. How do you think I fell out when I spent like almost seven hundred on my pair of speakers? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta like. It's it's a lot of money. I know, like it's you know, especially if it depends what you're doing and like in yeah. your life or whatever. Like it's a lot of money, but again, it's all about whether or not you want this to happen. You know? Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. think about it like I don't want no regrets. So I went all in. You know? Yeah, because like I'm thinking about like the whole like pod setup, like everything plus like in here, man. It's a lot of money. Probably like yeah, fifteen. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, probably like fifteen grand type of shit. Yeah, it's a lot yeah so don't be scared to do that shit um just find out uh and research what you're gonna need for what you want to do but um i can do a lot with the little just because i have experience but um just having a, a computer having speakers having a daw and having resources yeah would probably be the most important things for sure but if you're like a if you're like if you're like already balling if you're that's like if you're balling on a budget you know but if you want to if you're like let's just say you saved up you got like five G's on you. Then we're talking different. Then we're different. Then we're now we're talking. For you know sure. What I'm saying? For sure. Yeah, get yeah, you yeah. that MacBook Pro, man. Get you that three grand laptop. Get you yeah. something that's not my little trash MacBook Pro. That well, if we had a budget like that, I probably would throw it all on the laptop. I'm not gonna cap. Yeah, it. yeah. That's yeah, like yeah, we were yeah. saying. Remember? I mean, yeah. five grand is gonna get you a nice laptop. Yeah, a I nice would MacBook. Put it, yeah. I definitely would. I would. I would. Re- that's what I would recommend. You know, yeah. the nucleus. You yeah, get you that. Yeah. Well, five grand. Yeah, you're not buying like a max style laptop, but you're buying a, a nice because it's gonna. It's gonna cost you like maybe maybe close to three 
for a nice laptop, get you a nice interface that's like another rack. Yeah. It's a thousand. Buy a nice set of depending on your room, it's another five hundred for the speaker a pair of speakers if you get the five. Oh yeah, yeah, and you don't need the biggest speakers for that's your room. That's what I'm saying you get the fives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimum get like minimum fives. fives. Minimum fives, yeah. Like five sure. inch, right? So and that's like four forty five hundred right there. I probably would go with the JBLs too, to be honest. I think they're pretty good. JBL uh, speakers? Yeah, the mid range joints. I never I never heard them, so I don't know. I had a pair of those. I can't the give fives. Yeah, they're pretty good. I've only I've literally in my life I've only heard uh the yamahas the care the, H- the hs7 the hs these the hs i've heard the hs5 hs8 the ns10s well i mean not, you're not going to listen to ns10s but that's just for reference mixing and then for sure and then there's like the, uh the the Auratone, i've heard that but that's just also that, i'm thinking about like engineering stuff now. the mono joint yeah, yeah now i'm not talking about that but Man, I'm, no. but uh yeah like rock the krk the rockets the barefoots but you know i mean if you're if you're talking if you're looking at barefoots then you're on a different level yeah no 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 uh but yeah that's the and the the atoms and stuff like that i've heard a decent amount of speakers i never heard the gbls yeah they're pretty good i had a pair of those when i first uh started uh when i first dabbled into speakers yeah my first pair and shit but they sound pretty cool but yeah man i think that shit answers it bro um I think this concludes another yeah. episode of two. We're also on Spotify, pod, by the way. Are if, we? Yeah, we're on Spotify all the time. Never been uploading, so Check this it one, out, we're also bro. gonna be on Spotify. If you just don't, if you don't, if you're not on the go, you're going to work. You got school. You're on the bus. If you don't want to watch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If you don't like seeing our face and our whatever, that's cool. I understand. I mean, I just lock my shit too. I don't. Really, I literally have it open. Like whenever I watch it, I just have it open, but I don't look at it. You know. I oh, okay, but people, but when you're on the go, I understand. You're on yeah. the train, you're on the bus, you're going to work, you're going to go take that 14-hour drive across the bridge. I mean, yeah. not uh, not across the 14-hour <laughs> bridge, but I'm saying... What bridge is that? No, nah, nah, but I'm talking about uh, when you go into the, you know, when, you go into the, when you're in the bay, you're going from the bar and stuff, and it's loud when you when you cross the bar and you land in, in Bacardero, and it's cracking out there. It gets loud in the time. Even if you put a max volume, it's, I know I understand it's loud. It's hard to hear. You know what my favorite bass shit is, bro? It's like that old video. Remember where they have like the mufflers, but they're like whistles and shit? Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah. It's like a whistle in the morning. You just wake up. Yeah. And, bro, that shit is so funny. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that'll, anyways. that'll do it for this. Uh, another episode right there. Two and then ask us questions pod, in the comments. Feel me? Questions, uh, questions, topics for the next episode. Uh, yeah. Anything you want to plug, bro, before we leave? uh keep slapping that g yeah uh, we got more stuff working out working mm-hmm. uh more stuff with other artists but i'm not gonna say nothing until it comes out yeah it's gonna yep, come yep. out so yeah for yes. me at least that's that's it right now i'm just working constantly yeah same thing too um more shit to come out be on the lookout um just mastered a song with uh phoenix flexing that helped my brother mix and shit check that out that song's called threat that shit's out now i think it dropped yesterday and shit mm-hmm um but that's it hey man stay tuned hey keep hitting that thumbs up keep subscribing and shit bro i think we got like 60 subscribers now you know what i'm yep. saying like uh uh that's a big feat for a lot of people and shit you know what i mean like um i know that shit is like uh personally i know how hard that shit feels and shit yeah. you know what i'm saying pause because like you know starting a youtube page and like you know gaining fans and getting people to hit that subscribe uh subscription button is like it's hard to do and shit yeah. so like uh, if you're watching this please hit that subscription button or hit that subscribe button hit it's the free. thumbs up drop a comment anything you want to hear us talk about and shit drop it below bro and we'll yeah or, whether and, you fuck yeah. with our beats or you fuck with the advice we give you whatever then yeah just i mean it's free it's just it helps us out in the long run and we appreciate yeah. it so and like subscribe comment and yeah share it yep and we'll be back for another episode next week all right man that's it all right bro